man. <laughs> hey, gotta, gotta finish my Tony Hawk Project 8 game. Stop downloading stepsister <laughs> porn on the Wi Fi. What about stepbrother porn? Is that allowed? Uh, we get it, you're gay. We get it. Oh. You love dudes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Wow. What's your deal? About to start the episode here, nice episode nice. two nineteen. We're going to talk about civil asset forfeiture sessions. Wish I could have been Trump, on two eighteen. U.S. military trans ban. What? Wish I could have been on two eighteen. Me too. Clay, but, uh, can I get water? Clo- yeah, go for it. We got Greg over on the right. Seth just got water. Harry, Cat. I am Chris Spangle. We're just about to start the show. Uh, if you're new to the feed, just so you know. We're not going to talk about the topics in the title right away. We talk amongst ourselves for a little bit, and then we get into it. This is a podcast. This is uh, not Meet the Press, so... We have a little Gilmore Girls segment at the yeah. beginning. We just, Where you lead. We just chat a little bit. Yeah, catch up with each other. Exactly right. Vince about who's bothering us. Where's the coffee? The uh, is Gilmore Girls. Yeah, demand we need coffee. coffee. We need Chinese food. Yeah. You watch Gilmore Girls? Yes. Yeah, it's a great show. Honestly. You watch, listen to Chicks on the Right, and you watch Gilmore Girls. Yeah, that's why Harry's a great man. Honestly, Gil- oh, Gilmore Girls is a pretty good show. I know. Greg, how do you not watch Gilmore Girls? Yeah. I've never, actually, like, honestly, I don't even know who's in it. Uh, don't kill you. Um, Lauren Graham? <laughs> oh, she was at SMU. Really? Yeah, she was a drama major at SMU. Wow. And uh, the black guy in Walker, Texas Ranger. Interesting. <laughs> he was one of the professors. All right, so here we go. We're going to get started. We're going to catch up, and then we'll get into the topics. I'm sorry, the, the not-white-skinned guy that in Walker, Texas Ranger. That's yeah. Yeah. Get roundhouse. Delete. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Everybody be quiet. Oh. He's being a little shit today. Here we go. Welcome to We Are Libertarians. I am your host, Chris Spangle. We Are Libertarians brings you all of the irreverent modern politics to think of us as the love child. Seth, what are you doing? Get yourself I'm adjusting set. my microphone. All right, then we'll Cup start. It. Well, Cup. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you set? Yeah. Uh, I'm doing. I'm doing the, and all I hear is. Do we have the magic? Oh, I didn't know it would be. Do we have the magic, buddy? <laughs> no, the thing attached to the microphone. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah. I need it. Otherwise, I can't perform. Seth, Roger Paxton's watching. He says hi. Oh, hi, Roger. Lava Flow Podcast. Download it in iTunes. Give Roger five stars. Nope. Four out of five geologists recommend the Lava Flow Podcast. Thank (laughs) you. Amateur. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Just, just, just. Did you just change your pants? Roger's Star Wars You're in the same. The Empire actually makes me Uh, care about the Star Wars. What? I was going to say, you're in the same outfit from that. No, you're not. You know, like oh. I started like that way, but those were great movies. Oh yeah, yeah. I Rogue wanted one was, to do that. <laughs> that was like uh, I about yeah. cried when they when Leia turned around and goes hope in Rogue One. It was so good. Yeah, yeah. Give me Paul half. Mm-hmm. That's what the Bill Clinton thing. And uh, Roger says, "My boy Harry." Yep. Oh, See boy. how it is, Roger. Oh, All right, he's here. from Arkansas. You got you. Yep. Yeah. Apologies for that. No touching your Shoot microphone. The box. Yeah, that, yeah, that's not a sponsor. Let's get that off the table. <laughs> okay, buy this because Cat won't drink Bell's too hard. She's a lot. Answer all the beer cans. Just, like just leave the rest of that here and get, then bring we, your bells the next time. Uh, we, that's that was what I was doing. We should get black tape so they don't refuse the sponsors to cover up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Welcome to We Are Liberty. Welcome to We Are Libertarians. I am your host, Chris Spangle. We Are Libertarians brings all of the irreverence modern politics deserves. Think of us as the Love Child Review and Mad Magazine. We explain to you what the hell is happening in our world today and how we can fix it by thinking differently. Please be sure to rate and review us on iTunes. Uh, five stars, please. Like us on the Facebook. Share this episode with friends and support us through PayPal or Patreon at wearelibertarians.com. We are supported by listeners like you, so $1 per episode by pledging $5 a month helps us grow. We are always taking your questions and comments via email at editor at weirdlibertarians.com. We're going to uh, read some emails soon. We're, we're starting to get some in, especially about a certain person on Skippity the podcast. Doop, doop, doop. If you are new to the program, we catch up for the first 20 minutes or so, then deep dive analyzing current events and society from a libertarian perspective. This show is for adults by semi-adults. 
Please be warned, the language is strong and occasionally offensive. We have our two insurances here, which we'll explain in a moment. But the, the, uh, three insurances. The Minority Caucus? Yes. 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 The, uh, let's uh, start with Greg Lenz. Greg, my co-host, how are you? I, I'll tell you, I apologize for being a little late this evening. Um, I was on my way here and saw a car that had broken down and walk up to it, and it's Maya and Chelsea Manning. Turns out they were having tranny problems trying to get to the VA. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. Thank you for listening to We Are Libertarian. <laughs> Hong Kong tranny props. <laughs> that female voice that you hear is the uh, voice of the lovely Kat Anagnos. Kat, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Actually, no. You know what? I'm done lying about my feelings on this podcast. <coughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to serve in the millet. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Woo! Tucker. Knew it. No, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you, dear leader, provided me with sustenance yet again. A delicious fajita that he also offered to Harry Price, Harry who Price. was here as well. See who didn't get offered the fajita. That's you brought your own sandwich. That's Seth. the voice of Seth. No, well, Seth. We just call him Seth now. He goes by one name. He's 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 like a uh, Madonna, Madonna, right? He's like. I'm Lady part, Gaga. I'm like one sixty fourth tie. So you know. <laughs> are you? Oh, you can't tell? Is it my sword? No, you look like you're in the Hitler Youth, actually. <laughs> right. <laughs> the undercut, tall, blonde, blue it's, eyes. It's Frank Solo, Black is that roots at the blonde. Uh, so, gotcha. Right. Underneath that, yeah, yeah. All right, and that other voice is Harry Price. Harry, how are you? Going good. I saved you, Seth, from that awful fajita. It was awful. It had no spice to it whatsoever. It was so good. And Harry, you know, do you see how white my skin is? That, <laughs> like, no, I don't do spicy food, so that would have been He puts fajita. mayonnaise on his fajitas. I figured you had enough oh. No, I don't. I, I'm... I'm Miracle Remember, whip. I'm not straight. No, I don't do mayonnaise either. That's disgusting. He doesn't no. do mayonnaise. He prefers <laughs> spicy boys. Oh, so he prefers uh, schnitzel because he is in Hitler Youth. All right, now, I, I just just to say, I just want a, a note to the cast. Now, it has been Greg, Kat, and I for a few episodes. Uh, and we've got a lot of people here, so we're going to need to talk one at a time. All right? So... Do I need to? Do we need to pass around the uh, the extendable fork here? The conch. The conch. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to talk a little, a little bit about civil asset forfeiture, Jeff Sessions, and Trump's U.S. military ban on trans people. Uh, but first, you know, we begin every podcast as we get caught up, and I think that we've got to start. You know, obviously we have our lesbian insurance with Cat. Uh, uh, false, but thank you. Uh, n- to all the single men out there, um, I am available. So. Do they have to own goats? She oh. she said that she's getting a lot of DMs from the boys, uh, the Creepitarians. No, they're not Creepitarians. They're nice people who enjoy me on the show, and I thank them for that feedback. I think they were sliding. Feel wanted. But I think uh, they were sliding in DMs. Is that what she said? No. I wonder if you told them that you weren't into them, how those compliments would uh, go. All of a sudden, <laughs> it was you're the worst thing that ever happened in this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we have our uh, our gay insurance and uh, Seth. Seth, how are you? I'm doing good. It's nice to re-up with you. We we've yeah. missed you. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. You've been uh, good. you've yeah. been wanting to come on. Yeah, yeah, and here I am. We had quite a few conflict schedules though there for a while. Yeah, because we were trying to put together a different show with a snowflake and well, spoiler alerts for what's to come ahead. We'll have the blizzard. <laughs> uh, Greg is uh, Greg is either. The ladies swoon, or they violently throw things at Greg's head. Yeah. There is no in-between. And <laughs> binary. Very binary. <laughs> and uh, in, in, in Seth's case, he has a roommate who is a left libertarian, and I think if anybody listens to the... I don't think she'd take that title. Like I all left libertarians, a when push comes to shove, mm-hmm. they become commies. Well, she was a libertarian, and now she's just a leftist, as most left yes. libertarians end yeah. up. I think that's accurate. Uh, and she, your roommate, could not like Greg less. She really doesn't like me either, so I'm not, I don't, why should I throw Greg under the bus? Yeah, I, I won't speak for her, but I'll, I'll just say I don't think you guys are her number one. We had a delightful favorite. exchange on election day. I don't know why she did that way. Greg, did you have any delightful exchanges with anybody on election day? I was <laughs> drinking so many liberal tears. I almost drowned. <laughs> just <laughs> wasted on liberal tears. I, I almost, it was like a jellyfish that just turns into water because you drank too many tears. Greg was having the time of his life. It was, it was the best day ever. Donald Trump, Donald Trump's our president. Well, my, what else could be better? My, November 8th. November 8th? Yeah, my birthday was on election day this year. You had the best birthday ever. Oh, I was given four years of liberal tears. Yeah. 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 Trump. (laughs) Well, 
I've come around to like him a lot. It Have just, you? This yeah. is crazy. Just because, like, just of how how much he makes liberals cry, like that. Other that alone pain is the sweetest. Like all the bad yeah. stuff about him, I could tell from day one, and I knew that, and I expected that, and so it's not really any surprise. And like I've already spent years like bitching about those kinds of things, but the fact that he's like completely changed the political game, that he doesn't have the icing that most politicians have covering the shit. He's just the plain old shit, and he doesn't care. It's beautiful. I he's think a it's, schoolyard bully, and it's just, yeah, it's be- it's beautiful every yeah. day. He's hopping into trucks, pretending he's running over globalists. You know, he's got a baseball <laughs> that bat. That CNN gif. Oh, it was oh, just yeah. beautiful. Amazing. Just Amazing. seeing people lose bye, their bye. lose their shit over it and acting like it was a serious threat or something. Mm-hmm. It's like it's a gif. Like, calm down. And it's it's not that we like are so pro Trump and his policies. It's just that not we appreciate all. a shit lord when we see it. Exactly oh yeah, right. He is the but first we're libertarian presidential yeah. shit lord, and it's hilarious. It's, it's the shit lord era. Yeah, it's a new epic. Like Mark the gift, the, the, the CNN gift, <laughs> the CNN gift was a new level. It like was. I, you know, he's always like one up to my expectations. And even on election day, I was like, I don't think he's going to win, but I can't doubt him. Like he made it this far, and he just always has one upped it. And the CNN gift was like. God fucking damn it. A 4chan shit lord is now <laughs> is the, the president of America. I, I woke up that Sunday and I looked at my Twitter feed and I went, <laughs> I loved I loved everything about it. I love it every day. My favorite wor- was, uh, my mind is numb. My body is shaking. I can't believe it. Why, mis- <laughs> why has this country done this to me? I, so, uh, Mr. President, what do you have in store for me? Great. Screenshotted it. Printed as it a off. college student. Oh, Whew, loved it. So tasty. Were, were you on? I think you were on, and we were just like, what does your, your feed look like? And you're like, it's awful. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. People were lo- people were like, already started stockpiling food and water. Can't believe this is it. He's about to burn the trans. <laughs> e- even, even in some of the like things that aren't really controversial or aren't big deals, like the, the flamboyant gay man with the fan that they took the picture of, like yeah. that shit was hilarious. Right. I set that as my cover photo. <laughs> and if you look at... <laughs> If you look at what I have tagged, I have tagged, of course, God Emperor in the middle, God Empress to the side, and uh, Sassy Gay Man (laughs) tagged on the other (laughs) thing. Like, it's just hilarious. That guy is, like, the fact that, you know, Trump lets him, like, swish the fan out and be all, you know, silly and flamboyant, and he's just got the biggest grin on, like... Obama wouldn't have done that. He, Bush wouldn't have done they that. They wouldn't allow themselves to be photographed with the LGB, the rainbow flag. He's the first <laughs> right. president to, or presidential candidate to ever allow it. As you really? point, as you yeah. eloquently pointed out in meme form today. I did. I said, you know, I just we're all looking for somebody that holds that flag or holds us like Holt, Trump holds that flag, and Aww. it was him holding the LGBT flag. <laughs> That's adorable. Wait, Hillary and the, Clinton and the didn't. The sucky thing about they won't. that is first one ever. Yeah, Hillary Clinton didn't do it. No, no none of them no. will. But the lefties, they like to uh, also sucker punch that, like, well, he's in a climate that he's allowed to. I was like, what the heck do you talk Obama did for that? Listen years. to inter- eight listen, years of that climate. Listen he to inter- the games. Well, right. He could have done it. Listen to interviews of, like, Trump in the early 2000s saying he had no problem with gay people, like, or in the 90s even. Mm-hmm. He still doesn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he cares Definitely. about whether you're rich or not. If you're poor, he doesn't give a fuck about you. <laughs> he, no. he only cares if he can make you upset. <laughs> that too. Yeah, he cares about that as well. Nobody loves the gays as much as I do. <laughs> the more dick you suck, the more I love you. <laughs> Look how bad the gays are doing. What do they have to lose? Listen, they've the, been treated poorly, and I don't like it. <laughs> they uh, they spend so much money. They don't have kids. <laughs> they shouldn't have kids. So they spend so much money in my hotels. But they're better than trans. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're the, the whole trans thing. Well, it's been outrageous, the reaction to that. We, we, we put up uh, – so what do you think – uh, about I the couldn't trans believe issue. you did it. You were, you were pr- doing some prodding I, I, of social I media. Uh, can you look up on the wall page and yeah. see how many comments that got? Because it was a ridiculous amount. When you did, I go, oh, boy. Uh, I, I, did I had to turn my notifications off. It what, was crazy. It was on my page, but then it was also, oh, do you have notifications for the page on? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh God. that's not good. <laughs> I turned those off a long good. time ago. <laughs> it was yeah. not good at all. Yeah, so. Uh, so 105 like interactions, like likes, hearts, whatever. A thousand comments. A <laughs> thousand comments in 24 hours. One thousand comments. On our Facebook page. On, and literally, what was the question? What does everyone think of trans people in the military? And uh, it, that was a it nice reached thing to say. That was about the right 50, way to phrase it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Very neutral. Did it really? Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Crazy. Very top com- top comment had 537 like hearts and crying faces. If yeah. I had to bet, I would guess that the majority of actual Libertarian Party members are far less sympathetic to this cause than one would think because of the philosophy. Yeah. I read through people? every comment in a lot. In of general, or uh, this, uh, they they just don't care. It's one of those things. Oh yeah. Like yeah. I know of a very popular Libertarian candidate that when. The idea of campaigning for the gays, like to reach the gay community, it was like, well, they just kind of give me the willies. And I was like, wow, yeah. that's, so, that's uh, not the best response. Kat, save the comments. We'll come back to those because okay. I'll have you read some of the more interesting ones because I'm interested in the – the reason I ask that is before we talk about you know the really important stuff, which is the civil asset forfeiture, forfeiture uh, I wanted to get just a, a general perception of – the show. I want to take a moment to uh, thank our buddy Jason Doolittle, who is I think I think he is he my favorite listener. He's getting there. I would say so. Uh, never, always dangle the carrot. Never always. Never give that's it to right. Him. Uh, well, if I do, Christy Avery's going to get mad, and yeah. I'll have a flurry of angry messages from Christy. Uh, so and she I, knows where you live. She knows where I live. Uh, save, on this couch. save that for a time when you need more drama to exactly fuel right. the show. Yeah. So <laughs> I got. I, I went to the mailbox. Uh, I, I go to the mailbox once a week because I hate the government and I don't want to interact with it. Yeah. Uh, Fuck the mailman. Uh, we got this. We got this letter from Jason Doolittle. Cat, would you read that? Yes. The outside. For those who are not watching, just listening. The outside says congratulations, and there is a really nice, um, like, three D champagne glass that the corks out. The inside oh, like says, Alex Jones had on election night. Right, right. The inside says, Dear Chris and Greg, in parentheses, and Kat, I guess, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Love Jason. <laughs> Off Fuck to a Pop good <laughs> You guys know it out of, you guys knock it out of the park every week. Well, I can't read that. Uh, it says, well, enjoy well. your break. Ah. So best, Jason, and uh, hip, hip, hooray, here's to you. So Jason, thank you so much for sending that thank card. You. We love you, Jason. Uh, next time you can... The, the parentheses, parentheses are a waste of yeah, ink. that's fine. How did he get the address? Is, do you have that published? Oh no, J- Jason. Uh, Jason, it, we are streaming live to Facebook right now, uh-huh. and it's on a Mevo camera. And Jason uh, donated the money for us to get the Mevo camera, oh. and so he sends us things occasionally. Uh, it's like the Truman Show for the highest level of access. Exactly for right. Gotcha. And so he's in the top ten if favorite his, fans. If his so. wife is, member. if his wife is listening, Greg bought. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so yeah, that's what's going on. And if you're watching on li- on Facebook Live, you can see my cat's asshole. Because mm-hmm. I can. I have a perfect view. <laughs> this is more really? pussy than I've ever wanted Guys, to I see. Guys, I promise I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> cat, please. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Bleached. My, my, my sweet cat. Stop showing her <laughs> asshole to everyone that comes over. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I had to play the game. After walking in the door, I'm just like, oh, my God, get it out of my face, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, get Trump in here so he can grab it. <laughs> yeah, well, the funny thing is, is, you know, I've built out this professional studio in my room, in, in my uh, dining room. Luxury apartment. My luxury apartment. Uh, it's the compound. Exactly. And I've got this, this great studio, which you can see on our YouTube page. Please go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go check out the videos. I've got like four episodes to go clip out and take the segments out. I apologize for getting behind on that, but uh, but we do have the full episodes, and you can kind of watch it and and see everything, and uh, and we have these serious discussions, and and we're giving you all the serious knowledge in this professional looking studio, and then here comes Mittens, and she just puts her asshole right in the camera. Uh, it's uh she, well, she just misses her daddy. She she does. You should. Got, you got a great compliment, Doug Carr. Uh-huh. I ran into him at Starbucks, and he said to be sure and tell you what an awesome job you've done and how oh, great it you. looks. And he has the qu- quintessential podcast studio, you know, for uh, DK New Media. So yeah. that's quite the compliment. Yes, yes. Remind and me, I owe five dollars for that. Evan <laughs> uh, McMahon asked if we had the unicorn on uh, because. I thought Harry was the unicorn. Well, because we're talking trans issues. Is there anything you'd like to say to Evan McMahon? Um, hi. Is he implying, is he but, implying Seth is trans? Is he outing Seth? Seth. Well, Sorry, I, no. <laughs> There's nothing to out there, but no. Is the clutch like, slipping? No. <laughs> now, Seth, you, uh, you as we've mentioned, you're a gay man. You're a very mm. smart, 
intellectual man. You're not just a, a man that enjoys other men. Yeah. There's so many, I do that. There's well. there's many other facets to to you. He's so um, articulate. Uh, and now you you would you say you have a good gaydar? Um. Reasonably so, but I run into problems with uh, like wishful thinking. Mm. Okay. Like where I see a guy and I'm just like, ooh, is he gay? But then I'm like, oh, but am I picking up something here or do I just want him to fuck me? Because you know, <laughs> I love a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have that with women where, yeah. where it's very much like, oh, they're, they're, no, they're not into me. They're just my friend. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, when, you, when you met Kat tonight and you met her at the party, I know where this is going. What would you pick up on? Well, here's the thing. I, I started to say this earlier, but... You better answer very carefully, Seth. I'm college try. lesbians aren't real lesbians. Like, every girl is always like, oh, yeah, I flicked my sorority sister's bean, but Ew. it doesn't really... I've double-clicked a few mouses yeah, in my day, but like, it was college. It, you know, it's just my college experience. Like, it doesn't really matter. And they'll be like, oh, I'm maybe 37% bi or something. It's but... like when you touched a boob. Like, it was just a curiosity thing. Yeah, that was to see whether the 40-year-old <laughs> virgin was right or not, and if they did indeed feel like bags of sand. Because it dawned on me that, well, shit, I've never felt them. Maybe they do feel like bags of sand. No, a public bar isn't traditionally where you do said things. But no, usually your not. Your leader provides. Uh, he listen, does. Excuse me, I would like he, to go. He made that connection <laughs> that night, so he introduced me to yeah. uh, said owner of the boobs. So, yeah. Two, two pairs. We got you a small oh, set right. and a big set. Yeah. Yeah, a big set. The four by four tires I'm, and then yeah. the low I'm okay with boobs. It's just below the belt that makes me uneasy. So Well, we've got a treat. Oh, do it. Uh, <laughs> false. And I would like to go back to when you implied that uh, my sorority sisters and I have intimate relations. I would like to say Listen, that that is it's college. False. We get it. It's okay. But it's completely false. <laughs> They're good Christian but, women. But I am very curious because I so many oh, people. Can I isolate that clip? No. I... no <laughs> yes, but I... I am curious <laughs> to say a lot of people do think that I am a lesbian. What would you say? Actually, I can see it now. Damn yeah. It. Really? What? Yeah. What is it, what is it about? I, her? It's the deep voice. I don't voice. know. Something. Yeah. <laughs> it's the deep voice. So, like <laughs> the way you looked at me right there, and the way you said that, like something about it just clicked, and I'm like, oh yeah, she might be a dyke. Yeah, have you seen her play softball? No, uh, I haven't. Soccer. Do you play softball? No, I play soccer. It's because I have a deep voice and I'm uh, competent and I uh, enjoy sex with. She's not no. wearing. <laughs> 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 well played. I was kidding, about to say kidding. she's not wearing flannel, so I I don't know. It's tight around her waist. Oh it's on yeah. Tuesday. No, this is a nice sweater. Is that from the Al Borland collection? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't actually mine. It's I just real, like any it's lesbian it's listeners of the show. I apologize. I don't know any lesbians in real life. It is not like queer. <laughs> that is so snobby. It, it is not Honestly, like queer. I don't either. It is not like queer life. as folk. Like gay guys just don't just hang out with lesbians. We have nothing in common with them. Like they like pussy. We don't like that. That's true. You, <laughs> you know, we have nothing right. in common mm. with them. Right. But, yeah. So, but what do you have in common with us? Uh, nothing. Liberty. We both like dick, so well, there's that. Get ahead yeah. of ourselves. <laughs> well, <We're> and <laughs> Chris, we're smashing the state together. So That's yeah. right, we are. Our two resident anarcho-capitalists are are in in the house. We've got Harry and Seth. Third, as soon as he comes out of the closet about it. Anar anarcho monarchist. Uh, no rulers, but I do want to be king. A Hoppa style, Pinochet and uh, monarchist. Of your own <laughs> private plot of land. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Harry, Seth. That my... you voluntarily allow serfs to live on. Yeah. Yeah. Seth. <laughs> My uh, what they want. <laughs> my uh, gay friend said, uh -huh. "Who is the gay guy and what is his number?" <laughs> oh. Is it Ooh. is it the one that <laughs> is he that watching you're, that you're ditching me for this weekend? He is a yeah. hell of a yeah. good guy. Honestly, a hell of a guy. I love oh, him. Boy. You should. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's one of the most one of my favorite people I've ever. I only met him once, but he was hilarious. We're gonna make this happen. <laughs> We're gonna make it happen. Okay. We'll set yeah. you guys up. Yeah. We'll We're gonna be the, the first show. straight people to try and set. We'll set you up after the show. No, 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 no. He's not white. You're going to love him. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, Have great, you met Harry? Great man. <laughs> <laughs> More of the Harry variety. Mm -mm. Okay. Now, Harry, uh, you, you, Gunther was born. Yep. Uh, yep. And, and Gunther is now at home. Yeah, Gunther's at home. Uh, she beautiful. 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 Very healthy. Getting, healthy. Getting close to eight pounds now. Outstanding. So, yeah, so it's uh, very tiring uh, because uh, she likes to stay up late at night, but it's uh -huh. okay. You know? But don't you have Just a wife? Just like daddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, got a wife, but uh, she just likes to sleep. So what she hey, does. Hey, childbirth is hard. You know, it was a C-section. You, know? you know, it was over. Uh, you know, pop a couple Vicodin. They yeah. cut it, do a little cut. 
Right, you know, you know she, she was on so many. Yeah, she was on a couple of pain meds. Yeah, I was traumatic. I had to sit in a chair. Yeah, the room was like Stay cold. Awake. You know, emotional support. Right, it's you exhausting. Know. Did you watch it happen? Yes. Yeah, yes. that's enough trauma. Though. Yeah, right there. Oh. Yeah. Crowning. Yeah. They had like this what? vacuum tube of this. <laughs> they had this vacuum tube of blood like on the floor. They were like sucking blood out. It was awful. Oh. It was like, so like oh. I feel like when I was gassed in the bathroom by the Febreze. I'm about to. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a minute. Yeah, but it was also like Gun- uh, Gunther's home. Uh, people keep sending me stuff for Gunther, um, which I like to say thank you for everybody who sends stuff uh, because it does help out. Because uh, I've taken her to a trip to the store, and that's um, that's kind of hard. And it's, um, I almost got and I tr- triggered at the actually <laughs> untriggerable. I thought I couldn't be triggered. You got and, triggered, and I got triggered. I was at uh, K uh, K Roger or Kroger. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> checking out, I'm K Roger. <laughs> Check it out. Got everything on the conveyor belt. And the cashier goes up to me and goes, oh, that's not your babysitting. I was like, I'm not babysitting. This is my child. Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, what did wow. you say? I was like, I'm this not is my help, child. Sir. I, this is my kid. It's like, but you're babysitting. So mom was like, no, this is my kid. I'm spending time. That's nice. You're spending time with your daughter. Yes, would you, would you think I would be? Oh, like, oh, what the hell? Yeah, triggered. I've seen her Dude, go off that's, and, I'd be salty. I was super salty. I, I'd do Did the I, whole, can I speak to the manager haircut <laughs> bit. Yeah. You know? you know? Like, it was traumatic for me because, like, I was like, I've never been triggered before. Is this what it feels like? This is, yeah, you become a parent and now suddenly you can be triggered. I know. That's what having kids does to you. I have parenting skills. <laughs> I'm an adult at K Roger. <laughs> K Roger. He called K-Rogger. it K Roger. Kroger, as you people K-Rogger. know it. I don't know what you people meant. Yeah, but K Roger. How are you uh, handling the diaper situation? Mm. Very easily. I got it uh, set up across the room. Um, the whole diaper genie thing is a scam. That whole like, this way you don't have to smell the diapers. That's stupid. It's a waste of money. Just buy a thing of fifty nine cent baking soda and just like shake a little bit in at what each is, layer. Wait, what, what you is velcro it? the what baby is to the wall and you <laughs> louse them like it's prison? <laughs> you spray them with that hose. What, what is a what is a diaper genie? I've never it's heard supposed of this. to like trap the smells of the diaper inside because sometimes the uh, baby. Like a seal? Will, will poop, yeah. So will like poop. A, you said a, it made a, such a loud sound, it sounded like two gunshots going yeah, off. Yeah. Wait, is it, is it a, a special diaper or is it a bag? It's I'm a ba- special confused. toy, a special uh, uh, trash can that holds it into oh, it. Oh, yeah. But no, because, yeah, Gunther did like drop a poop the other day that was like, <laughs> I heard it from across the house. <laughs> and I don't have like a small house. It's a big, it's a, you know, yeah. 2,000 square foot house. You know, I was on the other side. I was on the computer and, you know, headphones on. You and all hear it. Boom, boom. When your baby yeah. shits a brick on the other side can of the house. Can you really? Right yeah, now. yeah. And it's it what was, it, it was what awful. Said, yeah. Fire in the hole. Awful. <laughs> like, first, like, I thought, I thought it was Lacey. I was like, Lacey, whoa. I was like. <laughs> she like, had broccoli that's, again. <laughs> that's Gunther. <laughs> Speaking and of she the... brings him to, she brings Wait him to me like, here, change her. I'm like. No, no. She, she did that on you. It's you know, it's leaking Jello pudding. Harry, Get the hell away from it. You should invest in upgrading the plumbing in your house now. When Gunther's a teenager, your toilets are wrecked. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I've got my um, my bathroom taken apart. I'm gonna put a lock on it, keep them out. You know, oh, build a wall around your bathroom. Yeah, exactly. You know, every solution is a uh, build a Someone's wall. Is Gunther, gonna have, to, <laughs> is Gunther right. gonna have to pay for it as well? Yes, it's gonna come out of her yeah. college fund. Yep. You know, so be good, okay. Good man. Yeah. yeah. By the time she gets to college, it'll be unaffordable or useless anyway. So. Well, because how old is she now? What is it? Be three months next Saturday. No kidding. Are you yeah. having a birthday party? Yes, yeah, small one for like family and stuff like that. So we're not I, invited. <laughs> well, you know that was kind of that was kind of shitty and petty. If you have to ask, and you're not invited. Ha. <laughs> um. I came to the baby hurricane yep. and alienated all of your normie friends and your family members. <laughs> like, let me tell you, oh, did you guys see that great Hitler I, I, I was there as well. Uh, Seth and I yeah. devastated we that. Played, we played bingo. I got the windmill of uh, friendship and tolerance. Yes, with sir. The bingo knife. And they were like, what is this you speak of? And then all of a sudden, they see a swastika on the bingo card. I don't think the blonde hair and blue eyes helps me out. In that no, they, they bought it from you completely, but yeah. they didn't think that was nearly as funny as we did. Yeah, I had some friends that were triggered. Like, I can't believe you have friends like that. I was like, what? what? You're not in on, oh, you're not in on the joke. Oh, sorry. I've had problems like that, making those kinds of jokes in front of normies and then realizing it's afterwards. So hard. Like, yeah, realizing yeah. afterwards, like, oh shit, okay, back what pedal. Like, the he doesn't co- know the what this is. The Columbine are these good kids meme. Like, that's, it's. 
Which, it's which is, context specific. Yeah. Which is fun. I was around my sister's uh, sorority members, right? And I actually like made a joke like that, <laughs> and I found like the one shit lord in the whole sorority. She was like, "Oh my god, I can talk to you." And we just trade memes I back know and what forth. That's like she was like, "I found." <laughs> so we need to make like an app like Grinder, but for shit lords. Mm, that yes. Allows you to see where <laughs> weaponized autism yeah. meet. Dot yeah. com. <laughs> so if you're at work and you're like, "Well, I wonder," it's like you know me. I like I wonder. Oh, I wonder if any of these people are gay. You can, like, on Grinder today, I had a guy 45 feet away from me. So you know he's in the same exact fucking office as me, sends me one text, sup, and then a dick pic. And oh. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I hate you HR. You work with me. <laughs> it's an inside job. <laughs> it is HR. <laughs> You're going to come in for your uh, You two have been very distracting, and I want to know why you're sharing racist memes about Harry. <laughs> We're not sharing racist memes about Harry. We're we're setting Seth up. Yeah. Oh no. My friend is so interested. Uh, he's very very interested. Okay. And you two match. Cool. You two. Are you two would be very compatible. How does he feel the about Hitler? an anarcho capitalist society? Well, I was uh, going to say the know. Hitler jokes aren't scaring him off. No, no. No. Hitler's hot now, man. He's, he is a gay black male <laughs> who does not like Gary, Bernie. Indiana. Who hates Bernie. Like Voted. Bernie. Gay black has thought Barry? about becoming like a libertarian slash republican. The uh-huh. only thing holding him back is like the gay marriage stance. <laughs> what? You're the uh, one thing me. preventing I'm the it. one thing. I don't want to associate. <laughs> it's the biggest shit lord there is. Oh, okay. So love the guy. Cool. We'll, we'll set you guys up. Rumor. Never mind. This guy's real? Oh, yeah. He's a black gay guy from they Gary. Met. Swear to God, it's hilarious. <laughs> my favorite man on this planet. If, <laughs> All right. Do you know well, how many times my... The... That's offensive. Right? Right, Greg? Oh, I don't care for her. <laughs> 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 I stopped. That's like I said. I stopped enjoying her friendship a very long time ago. Exactly. <laughs> no, uh, my mother... Professionally, keeps... even less. <laughs> the last nail was scary. My mom that. keeps trying mm. to set us up, uh, my friend and I, but I keep saying, Mom, he does not like women. And she's like, but that's okay, right? It, it, it'll still work. I'm like, is, mom, like, is it your won't. mom just like the great mom on my big fat Greek wedding? Like, yes, mom, completely. he's a vegetarian. But oh, Alex oh, Jones okay. oh, and she's like, oh, oh, that's okay. I make lamb. That's okay. You know? I make lamb. <laughs> yeah. She like, mom, he likes guys. Oh, that's okay. He can date you. Yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. I mean, well, according to you, I have a deep voice, and I gave you that man look. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She was he- high in my Subaru, so. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. I- <laughs> How do you like this thing? How's the gas mileage? <laughs> yeah. What think my t- kayak What's will it look like <laughs> underneath? Do you have one of those rolly scooter things I can put slide under the car with? <laughs> You're going to change your own oil? <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, all right. I but, wanna- hold on. If we could, Sorry. though, I would like to mention something real quick. Can you guys stop saying scat cat? Because every time yeah. you guys say that, I think of scat. Oh, so do I. That's, That's what I thought they were talking about. That's what I thought they were talking about the first time. Every- no. Excuse me. No. Just what? Google we- incognito that later, Greg. You don't <laughs> know what scat time. play is? No. Think Germans. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Pure, <laughs> perfect society, very ordered. I was no. thinking two girls, every- one Nobody's cup, cheap. But- no. <laughs> two girls in a cup, Greg. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> what do That's you guys want? <laughs> it's not that. In my head. It's like every I'm time so you say vanilla. scat, that's scat. <laughs> Ew. So, so that's you guys thing? say it. My I've brain goes scat. scat. Excuse oh me. God. Did somebody say scat cat? Yeah. Uh, a five, six, seven, no, eight. No. Beep, no. Bop, da, 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 ba, da, boo. No. Beep, 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 ba, da, Please stop. Stop. Oh, I stop. Ba, da, da, Stop. Ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, beep, ba, beep, boop. Poop coming out of her mouth, and I think I may get that video out of there and just like animate it later. <laughs> what what she says sorry, there is back the, to the first auditory topic. equivalent of poop coming out of her mouth. That's so, why it's yes. called scat cat. Now Greg has set down his mic. He refuses to participate in the show <laughs> anymore. <name>. Scat <laughs> strike. <laughs> scat strike. Uh, very d- d- sc- people. Pe- I have gotten nothing but positive feedback about. Cat being all on the 50 show. sub Thank counts. You. Wow. Uh, yes, <laughs> she's she's really mobilized her troops <laughs> to tell us that they like her. Thanks, but mom. Scat cat, not so much, Greg. No, that uh, I I can't even begin to tell you how little people like it. And I didn't even know about the negative connotation prior to little Good Lord. Now that I know that, you know how many that people sounds like I what's coming out of your mouth. No, so many people told me they loved scat cat. Who? People on Facebook. Your sorority sisters. No. They don't listen. You think the they listen? They just want you to pay your dues. Ew, uh, don't say that. <laughs> the friends that you pay to get a hang out with told uh, you how great you were? No, Shocked. I'm renting them for four years. <laughs> <laughs> OMG besties. <laughs> for four years. <laughs> Have you been on the Instagram account yet? 
so our first topic tonight <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> no, I made the Twitter and I'm pissed. I'm I'm honestly, uh, we're, we're not going to get oh, into the BSU oh AOPI. Okay, Harry, you <laughs> didn't need to fucking Google that. One Holy at a time. Shit. One at a time. Guys. I duck duck go that. Okay. What? I Ever heard of it? Yeah, I use duck duck go. No, you. Mm. I saw the, it's the hipster one. search engine. Yes, I know what Dr. Go. All the kids are raving about it. Yeah. All right, I want to take a minute. We're going to jump into the civil asset forfeiture topic here in just a second, but I want to take a chance to promote my good friend, Johnny Adams, Johnny Rocket Launchpad. Johnny Rocket Launchpad is an amazing podcast that you all should be listening to. And Johnny made a comic book. Uh, and John- is it a comic book or graphic novel? It is a. It is. I, I, I don't know the difference. Listen, I'm. I'm They're real particular about that. That's why. Uh, I asked. It, it says it's a. Uh, is it supposed to be serious? It, it's. It is. It's. It's a very libertarian leaning. It's great for brilliant I would say, idea. Teen, so, teenagers, if you love comics, give me. If you I love, if you're young again. I. Uh, I gave you one already. Uh, you didn't get around to reading it because <coughs> too busy creating Scat Cat. Exactly. Time well spent. Is the red and black an ANCOM in the? Cartoon? I don't. I don't think so. I think it's. Th- this is their logo. That's beautiful, uh, black and red. Oh. And Johnny Rocket. Commie launch- bullshit. Johnny Rocket Launchpad dot com. It is. It is really good. I read it. Uh, we've got some copies. We're gonna figure out a way to give you some. That of is these a copies. really great idea and very cool. It is. Yeah. It, he des- He designed it. He drew it. He wrote it. It's Did all- he really? Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. I mean, you, you just look at the art in it. It's really, really cool. Do you remember the OC? Do you yeah. remember when Seth Cohen did a, a graphic novel about the OC? Sure don't. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, I had to watch that because my girlfriend was obsessed. And then I had to watch Laguna Beach on Monday nights. Uh, so, yeah, Liberty Force is the comic. You can get it at johnnyrocketlaunchpad.com. Uh, listen, support our friend Johnny. Johnny awesome job, man. That's been great production. Yeah, that's it looks so nice. Cool. Yeah, a great friend of the program. And I wanted to take a moment just to say, hey, check that out. He's not paying us for this. I just loved the book so much. That uh, I want to make sure that you all hear about it and that you check it out. It's like what we were talking about, like the cultural infiltrations, like the way in, like with Free State of Jones and A Time to Kill. You know, getting in through mass, you know, mass me- or uh, you know, very popular pop popular culture is the better way to go in rather than preaching on a corner about, you know, needing food insurance and when you're going to escape to New Hampshire and everything's going to be, you know. And cap. Speaking of New Hampshire uh, and Liberty things, like Roger pa- Larger Paxton's um, other podcast, Resist the Empire, talking about uh, like Star Wars. It's a really, really cool podcast. It does get people into that listen to Star Wars, brings some people in. Yeah, that same type of bridge. Yep. It also bridged me because like I really don't really like the Star Wars universe, and that helped me like care. It's culturally biased. Yeah, I, I, to me, it's just Star Wars is too unbelievable. That's why I like Star Trek. It's better. Why oh, Darth Vader have to be the black guy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, before we move on, one more thing. I want to give a shout out to our friend at 812 Farms. This is not a paid advertisement. They are a former sponsor, but we just love we love our good friends down there. They were so supportive of us, and you guys were so supportive of them. They're going to be at the Hoosier Hops and Harvest Festival at Story Inn on August 26th, the Knob Root Beer Fest in Brown County on September 16th, and the Corn Maze Beer Fest in Columbus on September 23rd. Aaron asked if I would uh, give a shout out to those events. Harry's all about the craft brew. He's he's drinking Zima tonight. Uh, many Jolly Ranchers are being consumed here at the table as well. <clears throat> so good. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Uh, it's a little nostalgia. I remember drinking these, being underage, drinking Mazimas and dropping Jolly Ranchers. While well, you're on the golf team at Northwest High School, <laughs> <laughs> then you went to crew practice in the morning. Did do crew. Thank you for orchestra. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot of. I was in scat band. <laughs> People don't like it. We're not yeah. allowed to talk about it anymore. Uh-huh. My one contribute, my one contribution to this organization is crying. Let that be a lesson. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're kidding. It's gotten good reviews. People yeah. like it. But I do like it's endearing. What was that? Somebody yeah. likes Scat Cat? But up, but up, but up, but up, but up, shitty Michael B. Blay. <laughs> Just stop, Helga. Helga, stop. There's flying high. <laughs> that was like a weird Shakira Michael Bublé mix. I oh know. my god. You don't know. Your hips are lying. <laughs> <laughs> They're fake news. You're no. fake news. I was doing your contributions are no. all fake news. I was doing my Shakira impress- impression earlier, y- remember? Y- y- seriously, do your Shakira. It's <clears throat> not bad. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't if don't lie. <laughs> Let's go on to see baby. I kiss perfect though. And then I can do that guy in the song that nobody knows. Hey girl, I can see your body moving. That and song it's was my anthem. Crazy. In middle school. Of course it <laughs> yeah. was Seth. I bet your grade. hips didn't lie, Seth. <laughs> they did not. 
<laughs> Greg, Greg, you okay, man? Greg's meditating. Greg's Greg. Awusa. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste. All right, Greg, why don't you, well, let's talk a little bit about civil asset forfeiture. This is a hot topic for libertarians and one of the most underreported topics in all of society in America today. And we thought we, we made some progress in getting this reversed under Obama, but Jeff Sessions has, has said that he's reversing a lot of what Eric. What exactly is civil asset? It is. It's basically a method that um, the state has that works like a uh, basically a stealth tax. So anytime, instead of you being the criminal or like so an individual being the crime or the criminal, the property becomes a part of the crime and the government is allowed to seize it. And you have no due process. Your property obviously has no due process, not being a person. And the state basically just uses it to confiscate anything related to a civil issue that might be of uh perhaps evidentiary use or something else can be cars, can be really anything in your home, can be any cash. piece of personal property, cash that, uh, that just looks suspicious to the police officer and they seize it. And then you have to go through the most ridiculous process to get your property back. Mm -hmm. And so they just, it literally gives them the green light to go around seizing things that they may or may not need to use at, uh, through civil proceedings. Okay. And so it's, it's really poorly branded. Because it's something that is so outrageous to anyone you have the chance to explain it to that it, you know doesn't follow politics closely. Uh, we were going to do an AFF event that got uh, we just weren't able to pull it off with the I think it was the Justice uh, I, IBJ or IJ or whatever. Yeah, Institute for Justice. And what we were going to do is have a Christmas event where you bring gifts and we were going to donate the gifts to a local charity, but we were going to pay a police officer to come and just seize them and take it. Hmm. <laughs> and then because that's the kind of impact you need to get people to fully appreciate the level of, uh, of awfulness this really is. It's outrageous. It's just a blatant violation of personal property rights. Right. And what's sick is it's become I think it's roughly 40 percent of police departments use it to the extent of about a quarter of their funding. So it's become their biggest revenue source and it's been curbed greatly under the president. And then, you know, now that the court is in sessions. He uh, he gave the, he thought this was going to poll well and people would be all for it being hard on crime and it's shown <laughs> how many on. states have a it's at the state level it's been a huge backlash so many states have uh, instituted reforms to dial it back he just tried to wipe that all away with uh, giving when he gave a speech and really the the backlash has been enormous because yeah. it's it's basically just theft. It's p plain and simple theft. And, and don't some sheriffs, like, it, so when they seize the real estate, cars, cash, valuables, uh, like, it's it's not just, like, drug dealers, okay? Let's it's say, anything it's, associated, It's literally, like, let's say the police came Mittens. in here. Let's see, the police <laughs> came in here, and they were they thought that I had committed a crime. I'm never charged with a crime. I'm never convicted of the crime. They can, th whatever they take out of here, they keep, and they can sell, and I don't get it back. <laughs> And the sheriffs uh, here in Indiana, I don't know how it is everywhere else, the sheriffs can keep the profit that they, that they make on they, these auctions. They're dependent on that funding. Yep. Like, it is how the police state and, like, what Radley Balco wrote about in The Rise of the Warrior Cop, it is how that we've had su such a militarized police force with these – but these budgets that have just it, grown and grown. It's not mm -hmm. just that. They personally can keep the money in some cases. Yep. Yeah. Wow. I mean, they like literally. part of their pay. Theft. Blatant theft. Mm -hmm. Like, it's no different than what the mob does. Yeah. That's why there's so many of them on the drug task force. Yeah. Versus other crimes. Just like Indiana, like, there, there is no uh, police force right now going after uh, uh, stolen vehicles. There is none. There's tons of people on drugs, though. But stolen vehicles, if you get your if you get a car stolen here in Indianapolis, it's gone. There's yeah. nobody looking for it. A Grand Theft Auto, eh. Meh. Right. I'd rather yeah. nab the, that uh, young girl smoking pot out in the auxiliary shed. Exactly. Yep. That's probably why the um, – <laughs> what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Sorry about that. Um, no, I was going to say that's, pro <laughs> that's probably <laughs> – that's why, like, it's always a crock of crap when, like, some um, thin blue line idiot says, like, well, next time you're going to call, who are you going to call, a crackhead next time your house get broken into? Well, no, I'm going to call my insurance adjuster because the cop's not going to do crap. That's I, right. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's take a moment to all take a, a good look at Kat because she Wait, has. What remix? She has gone, she's gone completely red. Are you okay? Are you speechless? No, I'm. I didn't I'm think that was laughing. possible. What's wrong? I don't know. I'm a girl. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> OMG, girl. Um. You were oh. going to say something about civil asset forfeiture. 
Yeah, exactly. No, what I was going to say is that's probably why the mob and the police but, force but, but, are so closely related. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the 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 methods and potato, the procedures they use, potato. they are like right now with civil asset forfeiture not being having very little, unless you're well funded and know an attorney who will do it pro bono, mm-hmm. that stuff's gone. Yeah, and and they say it's to like you know go after drug dealers, but they have like gone in people who you know have sold cars and they have you know four or five thousand dollars of cash on them. Yeah, and, and they'll they just take the cash. they'll just pull them over and be like, oh, you've got this much cash on you. You can't have it. There's no way it could be for any legitimate reason. Yep. You're obviously a drug dealer, but you don't have any drugs on you, and I can't prove that, so I'm just going to take the cash. Yep. Take that money. Yeah. Show me the money. It's yeah. It, it, it? Like it can apply to your innocent, you know, church going, you know, Joe Blow. Yeah, just your basic white college yeah. girl. Like it doesn't, it doesn't like, work like that. Yeah, they've gone after stuff like that. There's that well-known highway in New Mexico where that sh- the sheriff just sits there and just picks people off. Going exactly. The highway. Well, that that property might have committed a crime, don't, which is so ridiculous on its on its prim- on the. Don't premise. travel with like anything more than like a hundred dollars in cash or so. <laughs> That's what bitcoins are for. Yeah. Well, or or go that. All right, Look at Ross Albrecht though; they stole his creation. bitcoin. Right, and there's bitcoins missing still. Yeah. There's still bitcoins missing. Yeah, well, Satoshi. Yeah, can't well. Satoshi find them? First off, not Satoshi, okay? I don't believe you. <laughs> Picking the Japanese name I, is brilliant, really. <laughs> <laughs> we know about your past. Uh, uh, all right, so so there's a lot of new reforms, <laughs> a lot of new reforms that are starting to go, go well, like, into place. That's the thing is this is so it, – it perfectly demonstrates how tone deaf Washington, D.C. is and insulated mm-hmm. from the rest of the world, really. Because even state governments are responding with these huge reforms because there's this mass outrage – when it's state level uh, c- congressmen who you go meet for coffee mm-hmm. and actually have access to, that's the time where they see that this mass outrage is happening, and so they're implementing these tough reforms. Like uh, Susana Martinez, the governor of New Mexico, mm-hmm. they're really th- at the forefront of all of this, yeah. being more libertarian leaning anyway. And it, it, there's no way to describe it other than blatant theft. Right. One hundred percent. Just because the government does it, it doesn't mean that it's legal. Exactly. Correct. Yeah. And they were some of the way. Like I'm not apologizing or giving excuse for the police officers, but I'm just more just stating like they got pushed in the situation because like what is it like it was the early '90s that they did the cop on every corner thing. Yeah. And and but the federal government was only paying that for like one or two years. Right. So they then hired they all these cops the and they had to do something. So they, they're like, all right, so blast we'll the <laughs> Unfunded we- mandates are how these things get started, and mm-hmm. all of a sudden it's, well, we ke- the police union won't let us lay off all these unnecessary police. Correct. We're just going to start taking things. Yeah. And then oh, just- that, that, that duffel bag committed a crime. We're going to need that. Right, and it was probably started for a very good reason. Like, you know what? We busted these drug dealers. Let's take that cash, use it to pay for the officers so we don't have to lay anybody off. Right, or raise taxes. Right. Right, and so, but it ends up though becoming a stealth tax, except it's not done at the ballot box. Mm-hmm. It, it all be, it all comes down to a, what we talk a lot about, which is incentives. Yeah, it's, it's it's a perverse incentive because there is no there is no marketplace or comp- competitive um, accountability for government. So it is always growing. It has an insatiable appetite to grow. Mm-hmm. When it is nearly unheard of for government to ever cut its budget or downsize but even then like on the whole unintended consequences thing back for that one or two years of a cop on every corner like who would have thought that who could have foreseen that you know when this funding doesn't happen anymore there's the police aren't going to be able to be fired and then you are going to have to have to pay for them somehow right like they would have never seen in the 90s when the crime trend completely reversed like right. yeah and that's in like that book freakonomics they talk about that yeah. and so there were a lot of you know that tipping point talks about it as well and it was that New York school teacher on a subway that shot four hoodlums and did vigilante yep. justice mm-hmm. and took it, you know, and then... <laughs> Harry, why was that so funny? Right. Harry <laughs> loves vigilante justice. <laughs> it was awesome because, like, like, they couldn't, no one could convict the guy. He kept going back out there and it was just, like, left him yeah, alone. Yeah, and then he, he gets tried. He shot these people and they're like, jury's like, no, he didn't. No. V- vigilante. Never happened. They no. just, they just, uh, jury, no. jury, jury no. acquitted him. Jury yeah, nullification. Yeah. Nullification. Jury nullification. They're like, nullification. we're literally holding the corpse, they wheel the corpses in and like, eh. I don't know. Could have been somebody else on that he's, subway he's, late at night. He's probably yeah. just sleeping. I don't think it's a real course. Yeah. <laughs> he's being a baby. He's a snowflake. <laughs> crisis actor. Yeah, <laughs> crisis actor. I have the documents. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you uh, you said this, but this is a stunning fact. A vast majority of federal civil forfeiture cases, 88% by some estimates, never see the inside of a courtroom. Absolutely. They never do. Unreal. And, I mean, it Seems is such an intricate, Seems low. long, expensive process to right. go through to get your... To get mittens back, 
Right. They, honestly, they could take mittens. They could yeah. come in here right now, mm-hmm. say, you are actively trying to undermine the state. You're in the Libertarian Party. Yep. Like, what happened to you when you are what, mid-20s? <laughs> uh, when I was in my early 20s, I was, uh, I was just yu- uh, but a babe working for the Libertarian Party of Indiana, the next-door neighbor. Prince leader. I, I was uh, just, yes, I was the Prince of Wales of Libertarians at that time, <laughs> long before he became dear leader. And the next-door neighbor sent a threatening email to his sister who forwarded it to the Secret Service where he said he was going to take Obama out. He was investigated. He was asked if he knew anybody who wanted to overthrow the state. And he said, yeah. I think the neighbor kid does something like that uh, for a living. See the guy mowing in the Gadsden flag shirt? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, so I'm definitely on a list. That and, you know, the NSA keyword thing. We all I saw him uh, ironing yeah. his uh, white robe in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. about that? He's got dank-ass memes, though, I'll tell you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so spicy as shit. Making uh, mustard gas in the garage but, as well. Oh, well, is he single? <laughs> <laughs> But so on, essentially, they, they, they target the property mm-hmm. and not the owner. Yeah. And second, the prosecution doesn't need to prove that an owner used the property to commit a crime or was willfully blind to its use, as is the case in ordinary criminal trials. It's guilt by association with an innocent party. Exactly right. And third, property owners in forfeiture cases, unlike defendants in criminal cases, have no guaranteed right to counsel. Mm -hmm. And I think at this point we really need to stop and talk about how important property rights are to not only libertarians but also to all of society. Exactly. Property rights are the foundation of a a society. What I own, I own. What I think, I think. These papers are mine. What is in this house is mine. The house that I own is mine, and if you kick me out because of property taxes, uh, <laughs> it, w- what what's here is mine. I, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've never been sexually harassed. At we are libertarians, and so <laughs> so we we just we are eroding property rights. Which the castle can explain the castle doctrine, Greg. The castle doctrine, off the top of my head, I can't. Okay, well, the castle doctrine. I, anyone else? Uh, are you familiar with the Castle Doctrine? Is this I mean, K or C A S S E L? No, it's Castle, no, like it's, the King it's, of the Castle. Yeah, oh, it's, King, it's of like, the, King of the Castle, like Borat. It's, it's like oh, yeah, it's yeah. like viewing your property, like your home or whatever, as your yeah, castle, as principle. your castle, so to speak. Where like, if somebody is doing a home invasion, you're authorized to like use lethal force on them. Exactly yeah, right. That's you're the idea. Physically behind removed, it. so to speak. You don't have to retreat. Yeah. Now, if they're retreating, you still have to stop. Yeah, you can't shoot them. You can't. Well, I mean, it varies by state to state, but like, you can't shoot them in the back as they're running off of your property, which sucks because they could be running to their trunk. But (laughs) in in the long span of history, this America—the reason that America is exceptional is that America was the first to fully institute property rights amongst its citizens, and in the long span of history, you you lived at the pleasure of a ruler, at the pleasure of the state. And if the king of England found you to be gross, he could take whatever property you had. He could take your wife. He could take your life. It didn't matter. And with things like the Magna Carta and the growth of, of rights in England and France Explicitly and, laid out German, negative rights, it, you know, saying what the government cannot do, period. Exactly. America finally instituted, essentially, you are the king of your own castle. What you own is yours. And that is the foundation of a free society. That this this apartment, all right. I I have wall compound. A wall compound. <laughs> I have I have struck a contract with my landlord, and it says that what is in here is mine. I own this, and if I had bought this property, it would be my property. And the state has no right to just enter my home and take my papers and to violate my Fourth Amendment and to steal my property or to take my life. And America was – the reason we talk about American exceptionalism is that it was that large leap forward. And with things like civil asset forfeiture, it is eroding that very concept it's of It's a freedom. rejection of it. It it's is. It's saying the state grants you the right of private property rather than you owning it outright. Exactly right. The state doesn't have to prove the reason that it is taking your things. It's theirs anyway. It's theirs anyways, and there's no recourse for you to take it And it's not even against you, right? Like, it's the state versus $3,000 in cash. Correct. It's the state versus a Lamborghini. And we don't give public defendants to bags, duffel bags. Or a car, yeah. It's it's only for people. Right. And so that's that's the ace in the hole I have. That's Mm -hmm. the back, you know, the back door of it and why it's so... 
damn ridiculous, really. They almost need to like consider property an extension of the person. Correct. It should like, be. It's it yours. should it should be. But like this is such a weird case that you know was John Locke thinking of this four hundred years ago or whatever? I mean, probably not. I think he probably was. He was probably anticipating it and came down and said, "You know what? It's worth this. It's better to be on this side. It's better to err on this side of too many personal property rights rather than a government." overreach by clearly and explicitly you, laying you think out. that john locke foresaw civil forfeiture oh i mean i'm always shocked when i read like the Marx read did. like you know his two treatises on government i haven't read much of them I'll oh confess, it's amazing so, yeah. how smart like madison jefferson these guys foresaw like that's the thing with slavery they purposely they hated that Careful. they had to make slavery so they had to harry make, here Harry owned slaves. He did. Oh, true, true. Harry does the slaving. <laughs> Smoking jacket. <laughs> no. Stay out of my nation property. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, that's the thing is they, they knew it was a, a moral and humanitarian crime to have to compromise on slavery in order to form the union. Mm -hmm. But that is why they made certain that they would have a process for amending the Constitution. And it, it plagued them because yeah. they knew it was, you know, every country or every culture has an original sin. For the United States, it's slavery, and then the way we treated the Native Americans. For England, it's uh, it's the Ireland, Ireland, you know. And honestly, you keep, keep treating cat or the way that you're treating cat, then honestly, it's going to be uh, justified treatment. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to white knight for. Her. You're being very mean to. Am cat. Am I mean to cat? Are you gonna break no. the fedora out for it though? Just kidding. I'm huh. kidding. <laughs> I've well, seen those pictures of you. She's putting the fedora sensitive. comes up. I'm not, sen I'm not sensitive. <laughs> ever, since, ever since she's why been around, I've had to walk, act like I've had to podcast on eggshells. Podcast why? On. Why are you so grumpy? I'm not grumpy. You're very grumpy tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Why are you so grumpy? I really don't think I'm. No, grumpy cat. Yeah. no, no, Am no, I no, being no. Grumpy tonight. No. Grumpy cat. You're, you're a little you're grumpy. The, why are you being grumpy? What's you're, wrong? I feel like I'm. You're a little irritable. Was it the lesbian comment? Yeah. No, that was the bridge too Why are you grumpy? I'm really not grumpy. No, you're very. See, you're getting angry right now because you guys are mansplaining. Get a hold of yourself. Reel it in, little girl. I've never wanted to be a feminist, but now I do. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah. not. You're not grumpy. That's just my favorite thing to do to my niece, especially. <laughs> well, it's like, so mean. Why are you grumpy? I'm not grumpy. No, you seem grumpy. Well, now I'm fucking I'm, grumpy. I'm not grumpy. See, Ask God. me one more time, and I'll start a second if Holocaust. Guys, God guys, damn it! Look at how not grumpy I am right if now. If you guys aren't nice to me, I'm gonna start scatting. And I don't. And I don't mean Shit. the music kind. <laughs> Dear leader. Physically removed. Yes. Just Chopper. saying. Yep. It is part of your <laughs> castle doctrine, that. right? Oh, that's your fidget putty. Of course. That's why I'm grumpy is because I didn't remember where I put it, but it was on my knee. Fidget putty? <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have a spinner. She has putty. She can't have sharp is things. Is this the newest <laughs> thing, fidget putty? No, this is the older thing. No, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. You're turning it set This on. is how I... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Ever it seen a dongler? <laughs> <laughs> she just made a very... Do you got a lot of Jolly Ranchers in that Zima. It's very patriotic. I've never done this shit before. I don't know how many you're supposed to put. <laughs> He's it cultured and gay. Mm. <laughs> this is how everybody does it at Greg's place. No, I'm really not <laughs> grumpy. I'm not grumpy. I just had a rough week. No, you're you're not grumpy at all. I was teasing you. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to get you to you yell. Interrupted it's wrestling the, the jimmies. Yeah, my jimmies are wrestling. <laughs> I was wrestling. Do the not shit. be upset. And my there jimmies no are need. not on. Oh. Uh, to, uh, I did that to our special snowflake today. Right? Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. God, I love you. <laughs> About son. some socialized medicine in the UK. Oh, <laughs> God. Thing. Well, I mean, doesn't civil asset forfeiture, one, it's the worst name ever. If it had extortion or, oh, theft or, you know, like, that's the thing. Or, or theft, uh, theft pronounced with that strange uh, status act. I think is how they right. say it. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, collective tax, <laughs> collective theft, <laughs> Democrat. Forcible mandatory taxation. Yeah. But that's the thing is, it's it's like taxation is theft. Like that's that hasn't caught on, Preach. and we keep forcing it. It probably won't, because it's just something that doesn't hit home. Mm -hmm. it, like civil asset forfeiture. I don't even know what that SAT question. Correct. Yeah. You know, if it was simply, oh, when the police come and take your things, but don't charge you with a crime, and you can't get them back. Well, the, the hardest part was because of the education that you even have to give like Republicans and Libertarians to let them understand that a lot of the part of the country was built. Was better. Usually, that's the main thing that gets people to become libertarians. They start, absolutely they learn that history of like. Wait spoiler alert! Yeah, the state confiscated the private roads. Right. They just like Alexander them. wanted to take on the debt from the war, and mm -hmm. that meant that all of a sudden you'd have terror. Oh, we'll fund. It. Oh, now we need taxes. We Correct. need an excise tax. Oh, and then there's the whiskey rebellion. Mm -hmm. Then we'll put you down, and that'll guarantee the authority of the federal government. Mm -hmm. That's why Aaron Burr was right when he. <laughs> <laughs> Did you write Hamilton yep. the musical? Uh, no, I would have not. 
because I'd have written it about Aaron Burr. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> big fan. Big Aaron fan. Burr did nothing wrong. Yeah. Big fan. Probably I love duels. I'm a big fan yeah. of duels. Probably wouldn't have made it a musical. Either. Can you imagine, though, if right now Steve Munchen was challenged to a duel? <laughs> Pence on the White House lawn. It, My Pence amazing. would win. Would Pence go all Thor on him? Yes. <laughs> like, go repent, <laughs> and a storm would pop Here's up on Pence. I'm picturing yeah. like Storm from X Men, but with everybody, Mike Pence. Yeah. Like, no, everybody thinks Mike Pence is like. I feel like he's he like is secretly a monster. Well, Alpha. Well, let's be real. No, I just feel like secretly he would, if he was in a duel, he would choke somebody out with his bare hands. He's the Christian Thor. Like, he's a large man. Real. He's a very large man. Like he's, you, it doesn't, you, it doesn't strike you how big of a guy he is because he's, you know, he's not, he's not real, real tall. But he is just a very large dude in person, and he would, he, he would, you know, he'd have some he's snowflakes. A Fiji, a yeah. He's, yeah, he has he's, he's amazing. He's a Fiji at he has Hanover. amazing. Was he really? Yeah. His, I saw. You could, you could kind of feel like, like think yeah. he may have been a linebacker in high school. That's what that build oh, that yeah. he has. That like, well, man, then he's he a big a cyclist. Linebacker. He's a real big cyclist. Like yeah. he did all that uh, bu- where you bike across the state of Indiana in one day mm. for charity or whatever on I seventy. Oh wow! He, he state uh, of Mitch Daniels draft. That's what I heard. <laughs> 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 My man, Mitch. <laughs> He's just a he. He's got great man boobs, by the way. Well, oh, our friend you. and uh, occasional co-host Hannah Cook. Yes, she quite frequently. She was a big Mike Pence fan and had the luxury of behind-the-scenes photographs from very unflattering angles, <laughs> and loved to share them with us. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a big C, a big mm. C cup. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has a healthy B. No, he's oh he's rivaling God. you, cat. Well, somebody fil- too. Will somebody fill me in on what these letters mean with the boobs? Oh, I'm uh, uh, not like are these small? Are they big? Code? I have no, no. I have no clue. <laughs> so when you get this right here, that's a nice D. Okay. What were the ones I felt? Do you know what those would be? A and D. Which one was A? I don't a, think the A. Is a the one I small. The a. actual the the, the actual well, nipple. I that felt was the that, skin. That was that's uh, just a nipple. <laughs> that was a. Was I a, jumped well, in there Jen. while you were blindfolded. There was Jen and there was the other one. Yes. Jen was the A. Okay. She was the small one. Okay. She's she worked Sorry, at Hooters. Jen. She's very proud of her A's. Right. Then you you felt the D's. <laughs> yes, those were D's. Those were D's, and that yeah. I okay. believe you refer to them as the Cadillac. Is that breasts. like? It's is that like? Below where, now where's yeah. that rank? What's the scale on this? Um, it depends on your taste. I'm I'm more of a. No 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 healthy. no. I mean like like literally smallest to biggest. What's the scale? A, I, I don't. Is it A B C D E F? A or? up to like H. Yeah, I like crazy. If you, you get take to the GMOs, numbers. it's limitless. <laughs> but normal's yeah, like A to D. Because um, yeah. Well, um, the average is D in the United States, isn't it? Or C? Something like D, but like Alessi's family got like triple Fs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very the Varian cool. stock yeah, not, is not, not, huge. Now, are you worried about Gunther? You know, um, yeah. Yeah, I am. So I'm going to make sure I get it to squat rack installed in the house. Make sure you know, she got <laughs> nice back muscles. When's too early to slide in DMs? Um, I'm gonna say uh, I'm okay. 16. As someone 16. who has commented on Age of Consent laws before, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say three Triggered. months. <laughs> three months is a little too, <laughs> a little too fucking. Yikes! Early. So as unless as you as practice as Islam. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what do you say? We're not gonna revisit it. Not revisiting that. Um, moving on. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I want pork. Oh, <laughs> Please. Talk about asset forfeiture. <laughs> I'm well armed. Well, sorry. Well, the other texting thing with the, um, the asset Are we distracting you? No, 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 no. I, uh, I, I'm distracted by the <laughs> simple the asset actionable, for- the actionable words coming out of this side of the table. I'm also uh, tweeting. So. S- simple asset forfeiture is developed in the same line as uh, like, uh, what is it? Im- imminent domain. That same bullcrap talk. Think that they can just they granted it. themselves license and Correct. exempted yeah. themselves from pr- personal property respect. Yep. The New York City uh, subway system. A lot of people love it. They say this is beautiful. This public transportation, but that was designed by private industry to get people from the tenement housing to businesses. Government had nothing to do with that besides seizing it. You're telling me that private individuals can create mass transit without a government yes. leader? Yeah, yeah. That's how the New York subway system was. Built. You lie. Get your sorcery out of here. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they, they needed to get they needed an efficient way to get their workers from the tenement housing to their like to, to where they needed to get yeah, to, to the ma- manufacturing yeah, district, to, the yeah, warehouse profit district. Profit on them possibly. Yeah. Oh and they and they really and they built it oh. for them and the government was like, you know what? This is awesome. This is ours now. Now we'll do it better, except 
not, not, not. You know, and that's We're that's what ends break. up happening is that's why you get like with Boston in the big dig and billions mm-hmm. lost. Thanks, Mitt Romney. Uh, but with with billions, the, billions with the accountability of lost. profit and loss, big dig is still. Leaking. You can be sure that it gets finished. Yeah, the because dig. they're not going to have a labor shortage because somebody can't dig a hole. They will find someone and pay someone to dig a hole, yeah. and they won't have to be union or approved or go through a vetting process or be a crony. Like that is that is the incentive of the market and why it's so important to force accountability. Like with civil asset forfeiture, mm-hmm. if there were, the states are already theoretically a competing government to the federal government's absolute power. Correct. Theoretically, yeah. the states have all passed these reform. I mean, you have in New Mexico, eleven states plus the District of Columbia have passed some reforms, and in New Mexico and Nebraska. They prohibit it altogether in the absence of a criminal conviction. So they can't take anything unless you've been convicted and tried of a crime. It, it doesn't work like in um, uh, the other 39 states where they can simply go, well, we think he did this, so we're going to take everything in the house mm-hmm. in case we need it for the trial. And then never give it back should you be innocent. Right. Yep. Which is just a stunning thing that's even allowable in the United so States. And the 39 well, states haven't addressed this reform. Right, yeah, and, and they, but they also do it for every other criminal case. They take things as evidence. Oh yeah, and uh, these are civil, right? Well, like if you take um, um, the case with um, Ian Freeman, right? When yeah. they went in, inside there, they raided everything. Took it, every it, be- explain who that is. Ian king Fre- of the Liberty Larpers. <laughs> 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 Not King, Mark's King. Um, Ian, <laughs> Ian, uh, Ian Freeman runs. Uh, he's a co-host of uh, Free Talk Live. One of the the is the largest uh, libertarian or. Um, not really like a talk show. It's syndicated on well over what is it, seventy different radio stations yeah, around I the it was country. Like 110, yeah, 110, yeah 110 radio I stations. To talk it's a top, uh, the top fifty of talk on Talkers Magazine. Uh, excellent and, show. Yeah, excellent show. Well, back in what is it, two thousand sixteen or fifteen, um, they did a show uh, showcasing that the FBI was running a. Um, Kitty porn server, and they did a show on it. Next. Most of the deep web is honeypots by the federal but, government right. trying to catch yeah, pedophiles. Trying to catch pedophiles. Well, they did a report on it, like, hey, this is what the FBI is running because not only it's a honeypot, but they actually have kitty porn that they have seized from other places and they've put it back on the dark web. So they were talking about how, like, you know, this is re victimized people. That just there. happened with a dark road or a deep web marketplace. The, hmm. Was it the Dutch government or the, um, Denmark's government? Was They took control of the marketplace and kept. Kept Sending going it after through. it, yeah, and they were also skimming off the top, taking uh, taking the bitcoins, the just like Ross, up. just like Ross. But like, but, so they um, a week after reporting that, um, the uh, Free Talk Live studios got raided by the FBI, and they seized everything. And they what did they camp- do? They uh, they planted a fake story about them having child porn Correct, that was yeah. on theirs. Right. And- Contaminate the meat, you know, any kind Correct. of public yeah, right. sentiment in yep. their favor. Mm-hmm. And they, they seized every piece of electronic equipment that crippled an entire radio network. Were syndicated on Free Talk Live mm-hmm. on, on their internet radio station. Are they yeah. LRN.FM? L- LRN.FM. L- LRN. Yep. yep. LRN.FM. Yep. So give them a shout out. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, and and I don't know what ended up happening. Maybe the, Roger could send me a note and, and let us know. The case is still pending. They still haven't really done anything. They're still kind they of just them in limbo. Right. They want they want Ian in limbo because it's hard for Ian to do anything. Like he His was running this. Would advise him not to. Right. He was running this convention called Keen Venture. It was a beautiful convention, but he can't do any mostly anything because it's kind of hard to plan out when you've got to be able to drop something at at a moment's notice to fight this case. So and that's when they'll do it too. And, yeah. And they don't even like. So it's just kind. Hold them in limbo. So it's you've like, got an anti-government group, uh, an anti-government voice running a network that reaches tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of people through terrestrial radio, regular radio station. They have a free-to-air satellite channel hitting North of Africa and most of nor- uh, the uh, northern hemisphere. Succeeded Online. really against all odds yep. when you mm-hmm. consider what their content is. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It, it, because they're very, they're very anarcho-capitalist. Very. And they hardcore. even talk about things like that sovereign man theory, where the government has like a you know a debt they take out in your name and you can claim it. Mm-hmm. Flag's got tassels on it. Like they, they, go de- they make Alex Jones look mainstream. <laughs> well, no, that's, no, because they talk about real real shit, not right. the crazy. Don't stuff. let though anyone call in with these right. crazy like, anyone you know, yeah. anyone can call it like harry yep. but they do it they'll call it in <laughs> they do a great service and they're an anti-government voice and through civil asset forfeiture yep. they've crippled they've tried to cripple that network it is the back door the government's mm-hmm. been needing in order to just manipulate whoever they want yep. they can punish whoever they want through it mm-hmm. they can manipulate and basically use it as bait or leverage and say well we'll give you your property back 
and clear you of these charges, but we're going to need you to be an informant, or you're going to need to do X, Y, Z. Yeah, they tried doing that to a lot of the diff- uh, to some free state pr- uh, project participants. Um, they tried to do that to uh, Rich Paul to mm-hmm. try to get him to uh, flip on the um, at the CAC or the Keen Activist Center. There's or a CAC? Whatever, or whatever it's calling itself. <laughs> you LARPers <laughs> love CAC? <laughs> My CAC. Seth, have you been to the CAC Center? <laughs> I have not. I've, never, I've been to New Hampshire, but never Keene. So. Oh, really? Ke- Keene's a... Porkfest isn't in Keene? No, no, it's in Lancaster. Ke- yeah. Keene is like, the s- what, south, uh, yeah, the southwest. southwest. The southwestern corner, closer and to Lancaster's Vermont. Lancaster's all the way in, like, central north. Going, that is the Going biggest, towards um, Canada. Like, LARPing festival in history? Jesus, is the whole state LARPers? <laughs> <laughs> Kat, have you LARPed? Yes, we've talked about this. Oh, that's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Never Liberty LARPed. Wait no. till you, there's no LARPing Wait, like, like Liberty LARPing. Changeling? You, no, we, it was a, like a fundraiser. Like oh. I didn't wear a costume. We just hit each other with Nerf guns. But the, one team dressed up and they lost. The amount of disgust in Harry's face and voice when it was for a fundraiser. Oh. <laughs> You're a for-profit oh. LARPer. His, his pinky went up and he went, You're not done with <laughs> Excuse me. Let me get my smoking jacket. I'm going to need another Jolly Rancher. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess you didn't make your own sword. <laughs> Jolly Ranchers get his people into trouble. <laughs> Skittles. Sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> it only takes one bad one. Yep. That's why we need the wall. <laughs> one bad Jolly Rancher. All yes. right. So obviously, this isn't congruent with libertarianism. So, what is the way to end it as we start wrapping up this discussion? That's the thing is, so far as I can tell, if the federal government's going to put their weight behind it, that's pretty distressing because the states are already reacting and we're seeing the reforms enacted. So, I mean, obviously, the federal government's all, traditionally, outside of things like civil rights and, you know, humanitarian type of issues, they don't lead the charge. They react to what the, the, mm-hmm. the states kind of do. But this is a clear, um, a clear policy and position that is staunchly against the trend that we've been seeing. But what yeah. did, what did Sessions actually do again? And maybe I missed it. Like, did he just give a speech saying he liked civil asset forfeiture? Or what well, that, was the... part of the thing with being attorney general is the leeway you have in the enforcement of this, the oversight mm-hmm. of this, and the investigation of this. So, so by him... being so pr- such a proponent of it, now all of a sudden the Justice Department isn't going to be doing such a close watch of such okay. abuses. Which was the opposite of Holder, who yeah. oh, was condemning it. And... Holder it was anti the best. Well, not so anti po- not anti police department, but Holder and. Uh, Lynch, Loretta Lynch, Loretta Lynch made you know they ma- understood this and in, how it was used and who was affected most. And by in it. the wake of the of Ferguson and and Philando Castile, I mean, they really yeah. started to crack down on po- local police departments and checking in on them. And Law and Order Trump is trying to reverse that trend because uh, lo- I don't know that he is. That's his, what he pays lip service to. But Sessions is just like his marijuana positions are so all, he was yeah. stunned. He right. says in a statement he did an interview and was like, I had no idea there'd be such backlash about being so hard against, you know, marijuana. Right. And it's like, what were you living in a cave in Alabama? Well, let's yeah. let's be honest. He does. He looks like he's not fully gestated. All right. He didn't. He, <laughs> he needs another couple. Uh, another couple trimesters in the old oven to finish, <laughs> to finish cooking. Yeah, that that is a fair. That is a fair point. He has the most placid, like demonic, blank look I've ever seen. I, but he's always happy. I ain't sure exactly what you're talking about. I don't know anybody who smokes the marijuana. Yeah, it's that stereotypical like Republican people dream up that straw man that they create. He, That's just, he's just, the straw man we've yeah, been waiting yeah. for. <laughs> And it's awful because that is the straw man. It's like you're just a bunch of old white guys who hate weed and people. Yeah, damn it. Here's this dude. <laughs> but not my monkey, not my circus. But to deal with it, just like in New Hampshire, <clears throat> back to New Hampshire, uh, you could probably use the Tenth Amendment and enough of the state power to go back and try to stop this. Tenth just Amendment like, was settled after the Civil War. Just, <laughs> just like was. New Hampshire stopped the um, the Real ID Act. True. I mean, you could, you could, but that's the, the thing state, is, state New Hampshire, no, that doesn't draw the ire of the Justice Department. Like, oh, look, here are these white LARPers that are passing their laws and yada, yada, yada. Like, it, it's not on the radar. But if this were like Chicago, mm-hmm. it'd be a different thing where they he, they would send in the National Guard. Chicago's out of the problems. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's like a million people, right? But guns like, are banned but, in Chicago. I oh, understand. boy. It's like a million people in the whole state of New Hampshire. Thank you. For whoa, whoa, that's a lot. That's that is less than a third of a percent of the entire country's population. Such yeah. diversity. Like it's 
This it's is why I love live streaming. Anthony Snow, thank you for sending in this tip. Jeff Sessions, his full name is Jefferson Beauregard Sessions the Third. Oh yeah. Oh, Jeff Sessions. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm absolutely oh, certain he wasn't in the man. Klan, but he went to a meeting back in his, <laughs> back, back in his state level days as he a Democrat in the... Alabama. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, he supplied the Diet Coke control. Oh, him and Rick Perry, former they were Democrats that flipped with Reagan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he oh, supplied yeah. the what? The uh, Diet Coke and trail mix. <laughs> so they like clan <laughs> rallies you've been to? Are they like is a, it cheese uh, or Cool Ranch? Are they we like OG know. Frank Underwood, like Southern Democrats? Oh, absolutely. Of, like, yeah. I mean, he's a lifelong bachelor, I believe, like Lindsey Graham Oh, so, which so, actually makes perfect so gay, sense. So right? gay, yeah, so gay. Uh, so no. gay. Oh, li- so well, gay. Have you seen see, Lindsey Graham? Have you gay? seen Lindsey so, Graham? Yeah, what? Lindsey Graham is gay. I feel like he's Come having on. some twink suck him off on Grindr. Yeah. Oh my god. No, definitely. Makes you Jeffrey Tucker look straight. Okay. James Buchanan. Uh, was he really? I thought yeah, it was homosexual. Abraham Lincoln. Really? No, that's that, that's Lincoln or log cabin Republicans, not Lincoln log. Yeah. Republicans. No, but there, no, <laughs> there are there are theory like there are legit theories that Lincoln was. No, there are. There's his wife was so awful. I'd have. I get it. Although we got a Lincoln log for you, buddy. I am not. <laughs> also, not, not you. Oh, the other one. Yeah, yeah. true, true. Also, there's a theory. See, she's irritated again. She's very angry. <laughs> Ooh, no, we're going to have so a talk mad. after the show, buddy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did I go too far? No. We'll talk off camera. Ooh. But no, that was a... That was a <laughs> no. no. That, that was no. a... See me Every time right. in my life a woman said that, the wrath of God was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drag this thing out, guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, you caused me to have... Poor performance at the start of the show, but I made uh, you speechless. You, g- <laughs> you gave her performance issues. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 ew! No, um, what was I going to say? No, there's a uh, rumors that JF or like a conspiracy theory that JFK was gay. Yeah, I could see it. Isn't that I would have bet by. He's too. He was by. He was oh, by. Yeah. That, that makes perfect. President Obama talks about in his biography about how he yeah, was biography. curious if he was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> facts. Oh, come on, come on. CNN biography. Well, you know how they are come in Hawaii. No, but he oh. talks about if he, you know, he thought he could, would I ever be interested in a man? Like, he goes to that level and talks about it. But, I mean, that was that was so normal in the 70s, free love. Okay. Like, Why does it get 78% more flamboyant the second we have Seth? Can we I, feel much more free. Can, I ask, can <laughs> I ask the straight guys in the room, like, so yeah. do you ever have a moment growing up where you're like, well, I don't think that I'm gay, but, like, what if I am? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I'll, I'll, is that I'll is tell, that a real thing? I will tell the truth. Okay. I when growing up, yeah. I was called I was called gay so much. Yeah. That was the number one criticism in our high school. Right. Was so, gay and Amish. So so like in episode two hundred when Chris Bowers said it, it, I helped it clicked in him like cuck. Has has replaced fag right. for our generation because it's not it's it's we don't want to put gay people down. Yeah, it's the it's the you're throwing them under the bus saying you're less masculine than I am. Right. It's it's right. it's like ape ape like behavior where we're all it's alpha, alpha, alpha alpha right. and beta fag. And, yes. and so <laughs> so in it's a beautiful term. <laughs> I mean, growing up, I graduated high school in 2002. So do the math. I mean, I think mm-hmm. most of the people listening are kind of in that age group. Faggot was a very common word to call each other, um, and and so you just kind of go, well, am I throwing off these tendencies? Are people seeing something about me that I'm not seeing? I know Cat has probably had the same thoughts. So That's yeah, interesting. so often you hit forty home runs in one softball season, and all of a sudden, <laughs> right. like, no, I got called lesbian so much that I. After a while, I was like, oh, my God, maybe I am a lesbian. She genuinely, like, we had to work it out. One day at work, we're sitting there yeah, just I like, was like – We're, we're mm-hmm. sitting here before a podcast one day, and she's like, okay, I need you to help me. I'm like, do you have these feelings? And she's like, no. I'm like, you're not gay. I love men. I love men. I love men. I love men. <laughs> and, and, I, and, you know, being, a 20, being 20 years old, I can remember being 20 and having those thoughts. I never have had an attraction to men right. or yeah. a man. There's nothing that I would ever do sexually with a man. It's, so you'd heard it so often, like that, thrown upon you that that you right. go, "What are other people seeing that I'm not seeing?" Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. I, I'd heard a similar story. Um, it remind me of it, like the lead singer of Corn. I think Jonathan Davis. Yeah, Jonathan like, Davis. On his self-titled debut album of Corn, there's a song on there called "Faggot," and it's, right. it's spelled slightly differently. But the whole entire song is about him growing up in high school and mm-hmm. being called faggot all the time because he was, you know, kind of weird and a little more feminine and all that. Right. Mm -hmm. To the point where he said he actually, like, hooked up with a guy and had sex with him because he thought, like, his own dad was saying that he was queer. A great man once said if you repeat a lie enough. And he did it and was like, 
he did it and was just like, oh, well, this wasn't for me. Like, I don't like this. It's, I'm not gay. Listen, it's it, it's you're a gay, mental thing. You you question your sexuality until it's your turn to suck the dick, and then <laughs> it's it's all it's all fun and games while they're sucking yours, okay? But then when then it comes the moment of truth. A mouth is a mouth. And then uh, and then and then you're and then Seth, that's when you knew you were just like, you know what? I really am into this. Yeah, I remember that. You mean moment. it's not a Ken doll down there? Forget. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's almost worse when like people, especially growing up, like when people would say that to me, they'd be like. Why don't you just come out already? Like it's acceptable. What? No, it's like even worse. Like, it's just getting oh, called the slur is horrible. But when people are like almost gaslighting you and like it's okay, just come out. That's having when you're, a heart like, to heart. Having it's like just... a fake ass heart to heart. I'm like, oh, oh my god, they're being nice. Uh, yeah, it's well, Kat, you're I've, so talented. I've, I've heard of like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hate Greg. So Guys much. who <laughs> most women do. Yeah. Greg's all of a sudden very mean. Sorry, go on. I, I've Seth. heard of no that kind of thing, like with guys who are maybe you know a little more effeminate, and like mm-hmm. they grow up in the kind of like a liberal arts, and, and like they gr- go to school for art or mm-hmm. something like that, and uh, they uh, a friend of mine was theorizing that like they become gay not because they actually are, but because it was, like, something that was so... An expectation. Yeah. And, like, for, it was interesting just because, like, for me, it was the exact opposite. Like, I had one or two instances of people, like, calling me out and calling, like, saying I was gay as a kid growing up. Yeah. But, like... One it, or two. <laughs> one or two. Seven. No, no, yeah. seriously. Like, one, bro, like, two. <laughs> yeah, one, two. Spangled Greg. Greg. No, I knew he was. Seth... I, oh, yeah. T- I'm Seth, say that. Like, say Seth, what you told me before the, the show. The, the time I met Seth, I was sure he was gay. It was just he wasn't out, and it was a conf- conflict, internal turmoil. You know, because you can just tell in someone's demeanor when they're stressed about something or it's just not right. <laughs> I no, not no, say it. I love the podcast. You are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, you don't sound anything like you look, and oh, here's why you're wrong about anarcho capitalism. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Seth. <laughs> he, he, I went he, full-blown autism. Oh, he hiroshima me with autism. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think uh, for me. Uh, but I, then now Seth is so much more comfortable in his own skin. I yeah, would not no. guess you were gay. Yeah. Uh, I would. I, I would. And I, yeah. Really? Well, no. I thought you were hitting on me at the wall party. See, I I and thought I that so you flat. might have thought that, but I. That's why I threw it in early, like when I said no, I came on the podcast as the gay insurance, and it wasn't until later when Spangle saw my search history on Google that you suddenly <laughs> figured out. Like you turn around, and you're like, wait, are you gay? Uh, I, I, yeah, because I was like, oh, he's hitting on me. I was like, he's cute, and then. Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, honestly, okay. I, I questioned my own sexuality after seeing that search. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. Well, then you well, found that picture. <laughs> then we found the picture. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> then you found that one picture. There was the picture we, we had to cut out of one podcast. But anyways. What did I do while I was asleep? No, I didn't. <laughs> so, so for me. There's a little black areas. I've always been a very conservative person. I've always been a very ca- careful person. And I've always been, uh, you know, I've, I've never, I've tasted a small amount of alcohol at 15. I've never done a single drug. I was say something else. Same, I was like. <laughs> I was I like just a oh, small t- amount. Just the tip. Just the right. tip. But, <laughs> <Keto? laughs> but I just don't, I just. Stick a carb. And of course, there's that part of me that one wonders, like, what is it? What does it feel like to be drunk? What does it feel like to be high? Stupid. And I have those thoughts, but at the same time, it's not something that I'm willing to engage in. Yeah. But I think every person kind of you 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 question, you see other people having life experiences, and you wonder what their humanity, what their feelings, and what their empathy. You know, you have empathy for that person. And I, so I kind of think that, and you know, like as a guy who uses a word like empathy. And who is more emotionally aware? Evolved. I, you know, yeah. So it's more about connecting with other people. I, 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 yeah. People wonder about me too. So just do me a favor uh, before you ever think about actually getting drunk. Once you take a dick first, and then if you like that experience of trying different experiences, then try the beer. And it's only okay. gay if you're on bottom. Correct. Yeah. Or no, balls touch. <laughs> balls oh, touch. Gosh. It can be straight. You can be a bottom and still be straight as long as the balls don't touch. You know, I heard. Fake news. I, Harry I heard. Price. I heard that it won- It had like one upped it since you know it's only gay if the balls touch. Like yeah. it's only gay if you swallow the cum. Like oh, yeah. I am learning so much. Hold on, hold on. Scat. <laughs> when okay. and when and isn't gay when two men are together in, in, in an intimate environment. I, like, all right. Just don't just swallow the cum. Say I, no, scat? I have a, no, hold on. I have a question. I have a question. Wait, wait. Okay. What like a. The whole like the thing with Total Biscuit getting like triggered for like wanting to know if traps are gay. That's not what I want to know. Did Total gay... Biscuit say Hold that? On. Yeah. No, 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 no. Not Total Biscuit. Someone asked Total Biscuit that question Who and it got it removed. Total Biscuit. It's like the it's new NWA. Wonderful British man. Anyways, <laughs> video game critic. But oh. the question I have, well, right? Guess. The question I really do have. 
if you have sex with a trans man, are you gay? But I but I beep. Biddy but I but boop beep boop 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 I feel I feel like we should just go right into the trans stuff and fuck sessions because hopefully he well gets Trump fired, and but... sessions are in a in a in a in a spat. I think really what they're doing is this is scripted reality television to d- distract from the healthcare failure. Yeah. I think this For is sure. the oh, yeah. perfect the perfect way to basically do the Apprentice in yeah, the White House it. and create all this you know Real Housewives drama that right. the press uh-huh. will eat up and ignore the failure of the Senate to pass a Republican health bill to walk back a lot of the different mistakes that he had because they're concentrating on this. And it's crooked Hillary. Else. Yeah. This is about going after Hillary, and he feels like he's that Sessions is protecting Hillary Clinton and the connections to uh, McCabe, who was deputy, what was he, deputy attorney general? Yes. And so McCabe's sister, was it? No, n- deputy FBI director. Deputy FBI yeah. director. Uh, so the wife of the deputy FBI director Got a six hundred and seventy thousand dollar donation. She was running for house or a, a state seat in Virginia from she, the Clintons, right? From the Clintons, and so it makes it look like, well, then, oh, and that, and you know, like James no, no, Comey's no, 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 sister no. working for the Clinton Global yeah, Initiative. You have How it, stunning. You have it mm-hmm. wrong. It was from uh, Terry McAuliffe. Terry McAuliffe donated to, to McCabe's wife, right? And he, that's the Clinton, the most Clinton. Like it's Podesta level uh, loyalty to the Clintons, right? Yeah, and so it just look, and, there, and this is someone in the administration. And when you have an administration plagued by leaks, it's like the uh, the new communications uh, or the new press secretary or communications director Scarmucci. Oh yeah, um, came out and s- said, you know, we're going to look at all the Obama holdovers. And he just, I love this guy. This guy's <laughs> the one that CNN had to retract the story about Skybridge Capital, uh-huh. and, and he basically started the whole uh, CNN having to claim being fake news. You Scar- know, Scaramucci. This this he's just- amazing. No, he's he's a, a troll as he's press secretary. Such a creep. Yeah. He's but it's uh, perfect for this administration. Uh, this is from the Hill, which is the most credible, in my opinion, the most credible of all the straight news. It's the AP for it. DC News. Right, it's this, so good. The Hill is great. The Hill. I hate it now. Five <laughs> five twenty two. White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci unloaded on Chief of Staff Reince Priebus, accusing him of leaking details of a private dinner with President Trump and claiming he will be asked to resign. Quote, unquote, Reince is an effing paranoid schizophrenic. (laughs) (laughs) A a paranoia yak, uh, Scaramucci told New York New Yorker writer Ryan Liz on a phone call. They they'll all be fired by me, he said of the White House communication staff. I fired one guy the other day. I have oh three to four people. I'll God. fire tomorrow. I'll get to the person who leaked that to you. Reince Priebus, if you want to leak something, he'll be asked to resign very shortly. He's, he's a bull in a china shop. He is the Donald Trump of press secretaries. This is what he's been needing. Scaramucci was angry that Liza found out that he planned to dine with Trump. Sean Hannity and uh, Bill Shine at the White House, he believed Priebus, who was feuded for months, would, was the one that told Liza. <laughs> so... Uh, Scaramucci tells Lisa, oh, Bill Shine is coming in. Let me ask the fucking thing and see if I can <laughs> cock block these people the way I cock block Scaramucci for six months. Oh, God. Wait, who said that? Scaramucci said that about himself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's on record. He's at levels of chess we haven't even thought of yet. Can I say, this is better than the stuttering, like, Hitler did nothing wrong, Spicer. That... Well, even right. Hitler didn't gas his people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like yeah, Spicer's yeah. a nice guy, Whoa. though. He's he's an acceptable DC insider. He just right. seemed like a bumbling idiot, though. He, uh, like but a, Trump needed somebody. Like exactly. Trump is never going to get any kind of access or benefit of the doubt. He needed a wartime consigliere, and that's what this guy is. This guy is a rabid dog. He's going to let off the leash, and I can't wait to watch press conferences. Right, technically, Polar he's going to get Germany. into their personal history. He'll yeah. probably call. He'll have a Sandra, Fl- a Sandra Fluck moment, probably. <laughs> like, this is going to be brutal savagery in the press corps. Politics but, just got interesting. Again. It did. Is... But then he has the one girl with the eyes. The Huckabee's d- uh, daughter? Is it? Is it Huckabee's yeah, daughter? Yeah, Huckabee's daughter. Mike Huckabee's yeah. daughter? Yeah. yeah. She, can, she's, she can barely speak. She speaks perfect. As, perfect. Worse, as worse as we do. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. I can read real good. Yeah. yeah. Like, honestly. Like, put Cat in there. She, th- th- that's the thing. with The president isn't articulate, so why would he have an articulate him. press yeah. secretary? <laughs> this is how a press conference with Cat would go. skippity doo bop bop Hold on. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, Miss Adagnos, does the president have any comment on his secondary meeting that he hid that he had with uh, Vladimir Putin? 
Yeah, so uh, that reminds me of this time in scat school when, uh, oh, did someone say scat? ba da beep beep Here's the thing. Boop. Here's the thing. <laughs> and then eventually oh, everybody would, the, the press clear would just out. get up and walk out. <laughs> it, in court. <laughs> is, what is that? We're being what? trolled. Is this candid camera? <laughs> What'd you say? I said majored in corn. She just went to scat school, so it was like majored in corn in scat school. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's. I'm gonna make it. I'm tired of this. I'm just Harry, gonna destroy you it. You come on and make everything about scat every time. Yeah, we get it, Harry. You're black. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, what? Wow. That was a. That was. A Greg a literally sh- dropped sh- the mic. Sh- <laughs> just. You deal with this on your own, Cat. Let's all just be quiet and let her talk. We we get one of the women's on the podcast, and this is what happens. Holy shit! It was like beautiful. I, I've said that comment at least every whatever. I was gonna yeah. say. How's your? How's that? I was gonna how's say, that gay black friend of yours? Everyone, Gary no, right now no, 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 no. I was gonna say everyone around here makes comments like that twenty four seven. And then nobody, no, everyone no. just laughs about it. Wait, listen, listen. The minute, the minute I say a comment, oh, everyone you. pretends to be offended and drops the microphone. When First we all off. know you have a firm grip, Greg Lenz. <laughs> First off, let me check Greg's invoices. That is true. Greg is paid. Greg Chris has is paid. Greg has a firm grip. <laughs> yes, I've been to Greg's place. There's a firm on grip. what? Oh, you. Oh, Greg are you saying my handshake? Oh. Yeah. Firmest grip ever. You broke my little so did I skeletal bone. Her, her dainty hand. <laughs> did I really? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. We've never I felt bad. Hands. She's a sorority I, girl. I she needs things. that hand. <laughs> <laughs> I need it to. Her oh. sister. It's <laughs> calm degree. She's an exotic dancer. Let's be honest. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. I'm great with my hands. For those who can. I'm doing an interpretive dance. Cat, cat as a as a stripper would be the funniest thing. It you've wouldn't ever. E- exist. Do like, lesbian strippers exist? Oh. <laughs> Listen up, Seth. <laughs> the, the the Where's the mic drop? You know what? I'm taking my mic I have out. So and I'm little dropping. interest in female strippers. <laughs> Just say, cat is. Uh, if you want to know what cats it like in real life. Mary Catherine Gallagher. <laughs> Sometimes she puts her hands in her armpits and then just smells them like this. <laughs> no, That's me in real life is a charming, incredibly attractive, wonderful <laughs> lover this of all music, was brought to you including by CNN. <laughs> so, Greg, trans people. <laughs> what what are we doing with the trans people? What has Donald Trump tweeted now? And I'm so sorry, by the way. The- Honestly, it's an efficiency thing. Now the United States military has no more training props. All the uh, trucks will run perfectly. He can say that, but I can't make Hong a joke Kong. about Harry. <laughs> Bruce Jenner. It's different. Tranny props. No, it is not no, different. No, it's not Sorry different. Sorry I'm late. It is not different. Totally, totally different. is. There's no trannies here. Look, well. G- Greg, uh-huh. at least three times a day in a chat, says, two scoops. Two, gen- two genders, <laughs> two, two terms. terms. Deal with it. Hey, Greg, okay. I just... And wanna... I don't believe that at all, because I don't care how you want to identify... I don't care if there is a blank mark for you to put unidentified on a government document. Do whatever makes you happy. Right. Don't force it on others, and don't expect everyone to accommodate you. But the holy triumvirate of twos is hilarious. It is. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the perfect. Two, two genders, two terms. It, it's outrageous. Yeah. So, so yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, I, I don't think I, – I, the president – I don't know why here, the president took the lead on this. Here's, here's what happened. Donald Trump on Ju- July 26th. At 8.55 a.m., <laughs> tweeted out the following. After consultation with my generals and military experts, please be advised that the United States government will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. Our military must be focused on decisive and overwhelming victory and cannot be burdened with tremendous medical cost and disruption that transgender in the military will entail. Thank you. Now, I will say, having had a former trans person as a member of our cast... I fixed that for you. That, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> when violated the nap too much. Maya, <laughs> Maya was a former veteran and got, got probably Gender still, reassignment if, surgery. We, if we still spoke, gets her medicine, her, not her reassignment for surgery, she gets her hormones from the VA. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's what had happened is if you actually look at the numbers, there's an over-representation of um, trans individuals in the United States military, mm-hmm. that, you know, in military service. And it's because this is the cheapest and uh, easiest way to get gender reassignment. It was being exploited, and it's an extremely expensive uh, process. You know, you can't put... The, a chop a dick off from me and add a dick to me is an expensive thing. The estimation is around 150,000 military services. Active duty, 15,000 people, veterans. Hormones. 
veterans, 134,000 yeah. is, is the number that we're talking about. And uh, it, it is, it is I, I wonder, I don't know how, if you can kind of read some of the comments of what libertarians from our Facebook page were so-called. I, I'm curious because I've seen everything from this is just a complete distraction. It's completely unnecessary. Why are we even bothering with this? Which I honestly, libertarians, feel like is a complete cop-out. I, yeah. I think that when you say that, you go, I just don't care about this. This is a distraction. That, Admit you hate queers. That, <laughs> let's just be honest. It, it's kind of, <laughs> honestly, a little bit. It, I think there are some people who, who, and there are people who say it on our Facebook page, uh, trans people are mentally ill and they shouldn't be in the military. And, I, you know, as opposed to, and then there's people all the way saying, if you want to go and fight, go and fight. You should be allowed to. We should, it, 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 you know, we... I just don't think that surgery should be part of No, 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 no. We're not included. going to listen to your opinion we're, on this, Seth. So no, just, just straight explain the shit <laughs> well, out of Well, do you want me to read the comments? We're not quite ready for, you know, two dudes that might be into each other sleeping together in a bunk, you know? No, no, no. So, this isn't Greece, okay? Hey. So, okay. <laughs> I, I uh, having had one experience with one trans person who was a veteran and who was dealing with a myriad of health issues, and, and we all, any longtime listener to the program understands what I'm talking about, you, you kind of – that is my template. And so I look at it and go, wow, if this person is struggling with this level of an identity crisis and this level of anger and this lack of self-control, is this the type of person that I want in the military? But at the same time, I really do not give a shit, uh, and I think that it is up to the military to screen all, all this. I was uh, – but I also think that there's also a part of masculinity that goes into this. Not only in my story was, you know, I'm a very masculine person. I'm going to cover up the the, the, overcompensation. the overcompensation. Essentially, there's this guy named Matt Matt Krog, Krogzinski, and it was this book that I read three three nights ago called Insane Training about weightlifting and and just this massive insane like a former Marine that guarded Bill Clinton. Alpha ha AF. Alpha, like you wouldn't believe, massive, has has a, a lift called the Croc Row, K-R-O-C, after him. And so I was like, I want to follow this dude. This dude is alpha as fuck. I'm going to go follow this dude on Instagram. I go and follow. He's trans now. And he's all of that was an overcompensation. Interesting. And now teaches women's lifting seminars. I don't think the whole mental health thing gets looked at because it's immediately dismissed on its face because it's offensive. I, I, th I think you can well, make the case, and I don't want people to get the impression that I no. think trans people are mentally ill. No. I, I think that, we all are. I think that any single human being living, if you get into their history, you could qualify them as mentally but ill that's correct. That's, and but, struggles but with things. That's the, pro that's the thing I was going to say earlier is like I have a problem with mental illness being brought up because what – like what is a mental illness? It's, right, it's, absolutely. Like that 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 definition and that lack of a definition, I think, is what really troubles me. Like, if is it just anything that deviates from the norm? Right. Well, well there's no spoiler like, alert. Grounding to spoiler it. alert. Like boys fucking boys is deviating from the norm. Are all gay people mentally insane? Maybe, but like if we are, what does it matter? You're like, way like you're, I fuck guys at the end of the day, and that's it. You're way way like, saner and way more put together than I am. <laughs> I mean, just to be honest, I'm way more insane than you are. Well, and I I think it's one of those things where I've heard like a thank you. I've heard a trans YouTuber who I listen to who gets a lot of shit because um, she is like Republican, and she basically said, "What's her name? I think I know who you're talking about." Blair White. Blair White. Uh, Blair. Yeah, you know Blair White? Blair yeah. White, yeah, I know I've Blair White is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so Blair White said that um, on a podcast I think I was listening to that people nowadays wear their mental illnesses on their sleeves and are proud of it. Like, mm -hmm. signaling. I have, I have depression, yep. I have ADHD, I'm proud of these things. And it's when a people. Way Right, and it's a way of like reveling in uh, a victim this. mindset. Right, yeah. and look and at me, I'm such a victim. I had all these horrible things happen to me, which, like, I get it. Horrible stuff happens, and that's fine. But it's, it shouldn't be a Lexus. Well, well, yeah, and you well, shouldn't yeah. trot it out as an excuse for any, uh, yeah, awful right. behavior. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. And and the point she was making was that everyone wears these like mental illnesses on their sleeves, but when somebody, um, like says, you know, could imply that being transgendered or being even being gay is a mental is a mental illness they are completely against it and she makes the point of if we wear certain mental illnesses on our sleeves and are proud of them why aren't we proud of another thing just because you have a mental illness doesn't mean that 
there's anything wrong with you. Somebody, no, you know what I mean? But if it is a mental illness, the question is, what is the treatment? Exactly. Like, if I'm mentally ill for wanting to have sex with men and, like, falling in love with other men, like, what is the treatment for that? Mm-hmm. You know, Mike Pence would say it's a car battery. But <laughs> I, <laughs> I bought but you clamps. Yeah. They did. This is true. Uh, the last time I was on, I was given a set of clamps. I saw some clamps. I thought, they've the hell? They've been <laughs> gathering a nice layer of dust in my closet. I'm still on grind. you're so, not in. Yeah. You didn't but, accept my gift. But all, all I'm saying is, like, you know, if the acceptable treatment for my mental illness, if it is a mental illness, is to go ahead and engage with other mentally ill, you know, Consenting men, adults. Men who want to do – yeah, like – then what harm does that do anybody? Right. We're well, not going to breathe, so it's that's okay. Nothing I, feel, about it. I feel the same way about trans issues. Like, if gender dysphoria or whatever, like, if it is a mental illness, that's perfectly fine. But you're grounded with gay. Like, so you've cho- like, so you were born gay. <laughs> you're grounded. Careful. No, no, no. But no, the, no. What I mean by grounded <laughs> is this, is that it's, it's anchored. So you're gay. That yeah. is your identity. Yeah. You own it. With gender dysphoria... Is that Dys- right? Dysmorphia? Dysmorphia. Yeah, dis- it's f- er, God damn it. Did it, I say the, the wrong thing? I actually don't know. It was gender dysphoria. You know how the LGBT treats the, DS- the trans. No, they just change it from the DSM-4 to the well, DSM-5. Well, whatever it, they just whatever change the term, it is. The if, that's, if that's your like mental multiple, illness, multiple I don't see... Well, it's, that's not attached. So it's they don't, their identity, like your your personal identity is how, like what roles you are, like a husband, brother, you know, volunteer. Podcaster. Yeah, but like we define ourselves through the roles we you know we own. Theirs isn't attached to anything. It isn't grounded. I'm not sure I follow. Uh, they aren't sure about their identity. But oh. yeah, the disease. It's, you're, or the you're, hold on, you're blanketing. Itself, you're blanketing. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're it's not an illness. The, it's just the, their identity let's, is let's not grounded. Your, hold on, hold on. You're blanketing. Hurry. That's the biggest problem with like the trans issue here now in 2017 is that they've blanketed it and opened. Up so large, and people have messed with it in so different ways. Yeah. Back in like um, the early, like the the before, like in the, during the DSM four days, when it just general identity disorder, it, most trans people just transitioned to the one of the two genders, right? And they tried to pa- they tr- pass out, <laughs> they try to pass, and then disappear. Yep. Um, you would meet these people online, and you would talk to them, walk them through the, uh, their whole, watch them do their uh, transition. And then they would just disappear offline out of the community because they were, they did what they wanted to do. They did they what resolved. they wanted to do. It yeah, they were gone. They you know, accepted I, it. Mission yeah. accomplished, and they're in. Correct. The other now the the <laughs> camp's oh. an interesting choice. Yeah. Of <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Tumblr exploded, and they oh, just my. opened so, up this umbrella so open. with the idea of like gender fluid or like Cis- the fluid is the issue. Like the all fluid. these different. Th- these are more like gender like the, the, the Tumblr. There's an age, like a site, Age of Shitlords. I think it's yes. Tumblr, yeah, Age of- that has like a complete comprehensive list of all the catalog yeah. genders. Hey, because there's like got, four thousand. Because gender, because gender, well, they're wrong. Because there's two, <laughs> and there's two scoops. In, in the words, because of- there's. There, there, there's more than two genders now because, like, the, the way that people expand out things. Like, but when it comes to biological sex, okay, that's what you're talking about. When you talk about male, female, that's biological sex. But even that is very limiting because there's more biological sex than just male and female. There's intersex. Yeah. There's intersex. And there's, you know, Hermit but yeah. And yeah. Hey, All I know to... is that there is no surgering what? away a Y chromosome. Correct. Oh, you cannot but do I'm that. I'm totally. You joking. cannot. <laughs> yeah, you cannot do that. But that's just when your chromosome level. But some, the way someone expresses through their gender, stuff like that, that that's completely different. The biggest problem, like I said, is like that 2017 is that you find, to me, I think people have hyped up a lot of the trans community because I, most I d- people, oh, for sure. because most people who are trans, a lot of them don't want to come out just say like, hey, I'm trans. They're like, no, no I I'm am a ju- female. You know, I'm a yeah, male. I, I'm male. A, it, I'm I've a, always I have been. I just... Right, didn't have and the done. opportunity and they it's a, it at birth. It's a hugely, I, I mean, I, Seth knows about coming out. Uh, I mean, as far as like an emotional process, yeah. but traumatic for. It's hard. I, I mean, mm-hmm. for I, I really felt for Maya, for instance, because it was a process that not only are you coming out, you were coming out as a freak. You are now saying that I am going to open myself up to. A, ridicule, a ridicule, and abuse, and stares, and questions mm-hmm. I don't want. Which restroom might get used? It's, now it's, even, by yeah, government? it's even harder and you know worse than it is to come out as gay. Like, uh, right? The yeah. mainstream is like kind of starting that. Like, yeah. 
The, you it's, know, the, that's, it's acceptable as norm. Now. It's not as foreign of a concept, but the trans thing is still a lot of like misunderstanding or questions that it, people well, just don't want, understand. If you, if yeah. you want and some th- insight, if you want some insight to this, um, the Creating Maya podcast is no longer available except at our SoundCloud. I think it's still up there per the request of Maya. Uh, but the cost is a podcast feed that you can get in iTunes, which is uh, not, uh, nine episodes, eight episodes that we've done is an episode where Maya was really talking in depth about the struggle that she has. Mm -hmm. And the cost is it's Maya's story about basically being a freak of society. And it is, it's just a, a way to live and to have your turmoil, your entire being and, and such a personal discussion now opened up to politics and to, Amateur opinion it, 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 and correct. yeah. There right. isn't anything that I could post on our Facebook page that will get a thousand comments. No. And now everybody, a, th- a thousand people want to open up about your struggle. D- well, your I knew deepest, one. Deepest, most intimate struggle, and it's just it's 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 a it's a shitty thing, and mm-hmm. it, it's uh, you know it has to be for the seven thousand active active duty transgender people out of one point three million. It has to be an incredibly disheartening thing to see that tweet from Trump. Yeah. Especially hold after up. he is the first presidential candidate to ever, you know, president to hold that flag. Right. And Are include they, him in his... Uh, but Republican. you can say that, but the whole Trump shtick is about taking America back to a time when America was great. Oh, right. yeah. And, and, that, and, that and, means, most... and that means that Seth is not sucking dick. Seth is marrying Kat and they're settling down for 2.8 kids. You know, and, and they're living the the classic American and, and lifestyle that trans, looks like it's in Pleasantville. Yeah, yeah. Well, and most trans here. people don't look at Trump with the rainbow flag in real life. Like they don't the the, the historic the historic nature of it. It is first to the wall. He isn't the right representative and doesn't represent their best interests. But that is now going to mean it's okay for the rest. Yeah. If yeah. he can touch it, if he it, Mike, yeah. if Mike Pence's ticket mate can touch it, anybody can touch mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Now, what were you going to say, Harry? When I was going to get to like when you say active military trans people, that would uh, that number seems really really high considering yeah. that number like they weren't allowed to serve openly until what like, they're still not allowed. There to. still isn't any they're, research. The Defense Department not doesn't allowed keep numbers to on. Still, they you can't be trans, but they can't trans. They well, can't serve openly. UCLA's the, Williams the Chelsea Manning got it. hit up on this when she went to when she went to trials. She was like, "Hey, I'm trans, you know, and you can't be, you know, like." Kick me out of there, like you might just hold the church. Could charge the wrong person. Yep, those aren't against me. I'm out. <laughs> and it's one of those things. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, and it's one of those things where do we have the data saying, is it somebody identifying as trans or is it somebody actively going? Through it's a sample. Well, based the, on the, distribution. That's the other thing that the uh, the like, trans umbrella too. So you cannot take one hormone, do one t- a different thing, and still can be considered trans. Just because you can be considered trans and never take a hormone shot, never take a surgery, exactly, you can still be considered. Like, trans. I can just be say trans. it and not have to do. Any correction. Yeah. Exactly. Correct. Yeah. That isn't how this is determined. So, like, the research methodology is it's the, the VA the, tracking. The other thing is uh, trans people being allowed to serve in the military was something that Obama did, but he kicked that can to 2017. That whole floodgate still it wasn't open yet. Nobody still, wants to take this st- on. No, it's still not even open. He kicked it to 2017. So, like, this whole active numbers serving thing is bull crap. It's fake news. Oh, yeah, it was just a review. We're doing an internal so, review. Right. It's just maybe people checking numbers on yeah, a Ash box. Ash Carter didn't or want to open this Or if you really look into it, it's yeah. probably like, hey, do you ever question your gender? Well, I'm being, like, psychologist tortured here in the military. Sure. Heck yeah. So has Trump, in effect, opened up the Pandora's box? Oh, yeah. By he's having a first, clear position and not punting? Yeah. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's not what's happening here. I mean, I think John McCain said it, it exactly right. The president's tweet this morning regarding transgender Americans in the military is yet another example of why major policy announcements should not be made via Twitter. The statement was unclear. The Department of Defense has already decided to allow currently serving transgender individuals to stay in the military, and many are serving honorably today. Any American who meets current medical and readiness standards should be allowed to continue serving. There is no reason to force service members who are able to fight train, and deploy to leave the military, regardless of their gender identity. We should all be guided by the principle that any American who wants to serve our country and is able to meet the standards should have the opportunity to do so and should be treated as the patriots they are. And in 
that I couldn't agree with John McCain more. Oh, he's dead on. In, in his statement and in, in all of it, uh, but also in that putting out a statement is something that Donald Trump does a lot. It gets reported on. It gets debated. It owns the news cycle. It owns the news cycle, but it never actually funnels down into policy because it never actually gets implemented because he just says it, and then everybody kind of fights and wrangles over it, but it doesn't actually get implemented. Like banning the Muslims. Right. <laughs> right. Building the wall. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, it's, it's, a, it is a, it's a PR tool. It's yes. a perfect sure. way to – if you, you, can, you can park – you could literally park a battleship between your le- behind your left hand if you had sex and scandal in the right hand. And Trump is a master mm-hmm. of when there is news he doesn't want or a negative um, cycle happening on a policy failure or progress on something he's pushing for. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, Jeff Sessions, I never liked him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or yeah. He pulls out this rabbit out of the hat that's sensationalist outrage, mm-hmm. media outrage. And the next thing you know, no one cares to talk to Mitch McConnell because it's Mitch McConnell and he's depressing. You know, no one wants to talk about the failure of the turtle. Right. You know? uh, Anthony Snow, and I, and I wonder from a soldier's perspective, none of us have served. Um, Anthony Snow says, he's a commenter on our Facebook Live, I was military. It would be strange to have a pre-op trans person in a very non-private setting in many military situations. Perhaps occupational restrictions for the trans population could be a compromise until further study. Just don't like, just like, don't ask, don't tell. That was a study that led to full equality in the military. Just like integration of it, which is the anniversary of the announcement. Truman's, you know, full. Because right. the white soldiers would have said the word for word same thing, except it would have been black people, a- exactly. not trans. Woodrow mm-hmm. Wilson segregated the military after Lincoln had had uh, fully integrated it. Woodrow Wilson segregated it. Here, uh, who did you say? Harry Truman. Harry Truman. Because uh, Trump did this on the anniversary. And he did it on the anniversary, but it is – it is. Um, it's such a non-issue. It is. It's, we're talking so about – So military gender list? Here's the thing. We're, You're patriots only. In terms of the entire population, it's a non-issue to the people that it affects directly, those, those 150,000 troops – it affects them deeply. They've served their country. The people who have built their careers. We on have, being we have, the military. We have yeah. promised them that we would pay. F- and, and, and if you can't handle that, but you can handle being shot at in Iraq, grow a pair. There, there's nothing about my friendship. Oh, wow. Seriously, if that it makes you so uncomfortable, but you'll go get shot at by jihadists. Grow a and, pair. And I, I mean, a lot of them are suck it up. Shot at though. To be fair, I mean, a lot of them are just. I would guess that a lot of the opinions in the military fall right down the lines of their political opinions, but yes. most people don't care. And I, w- I will tell you, as someone who had a close friendship with Maya, I- it just it didn't matter. It do- I don't care. It was it Maya, was, not a gender. It was a human being. It- it's just, you know, well, what about if they're showering together? It's like, you know how many times not- I saw Maya's penis? I didn't care. They've, it was just I like— I mean, they've said the same thing right. about— uh, you know, gay guys in the army, or mm-hmm. even uh, about when, like, the first NFL football player, open, absolutely, o- like the first openly gay that admitted it NFL player, it. he came out, yeah, and there it's like, oh, where are they going in the shower? It's like I don't know. He might actually like take a fucking shower, and that's had like, a prohibitive effect on the number of people that want to play in the NFL. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Really? It's like, uh, it's no, it has. Like, that's oh. the main. That's absurd. Yeah. It's it's one. It's an if you issue. can go through basic, you can handle looking at something that wasn't there. The, and and a lot of the you know the uh, American Family Associations, the Family Research Councils, they're all talking about um, you know social engineering and social experimentation, cultural the, preservation, and the Viagra comment. This is oh, this is um, this is an example of this should be an individual by individual mm-hmm. situation. Right. We're talking about a very few select individuals who not only are going through this process, who are being evaluated by a certain set of, set of standards, and then the people that are serving with them, those individuals can then make their own decisions, and there should be freedom around that, even though in the military but you have no freedom. The rest of us don't need to fucking talk about it. Offer them the chance to quit. If it bothers you so much, honestly, here's your walking papers. If not, I don't want to hear you going to a reporter. Uh, you can't get a tattoo without their approval. Let alone have, yeah, have, it, have a you, snowflake outrage to this. Because when you join the military, correct me if I'm wrong, you sign up a lot of it of your rights yeah. away to the military. All of them. They, they would, own, yeah. You are government property. They would prefer you're just a 
genderless standard issue. That's what they they want. They break it down to something that it's just standard issue. Like they the don't, Constitution doesn't even apply to you at that point. Yeah, the no, whole you, entire you're like, set of military law is now what is your your guiding doctrine. You have yep. way less rights there than you do. Absolutely, yeah. you're subject yeah. to the military court system, not the United States right. Constitution. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, and oh. you write, you sign over. Right. Well, also, addendum, as an anarchist, I think Trump should go further and ban all of genders from the military. Well, I, I was going to say, like, <laughs> build you know, the gender wall. Does this mean that they're <laughs> exempt from the draft? I would assume it does, right? Uh, like, I, trans I, people. The can't implications get for this are are still being flushed out. But I yeah. bet it's but not even going to happen. But if that's, <laughs> oh, yeah, they, but, yeah. But, like, if that's the case, and tra- assuming trans people are exempt from the draft because of this, ban gay people from the military. Do it. Like, guarantee <laughs> that I will never get drafted. Like, do it. Yeah. You know, I won't have to worry about a backup plane to run away to Canada or something. Well, like, I, I make think it happen. I think we're we all trans now. <laughs> <laughs> so say, if that, happened, the draft card. If, if that was uh, a thing, you know, and, and gay people couldn't get drafted, and as soon as the draft goes into place, you know how many good dudes are going to come out? How you doing, like, Seth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. What are that. you doing Saturday night? <laughs> Honestly, want to go to Mesh? Yeah, because <laughs> you don't have to act on it anymore. Like, no. like with trans, like we were saying, the the umbrella is so large, you don't have to act well, on you, it. Well, you you can come out as a gay man and be a virgin. And like have never you know done exactly. anything with a dude, but you know just the same way as a straight guy who's a virgin hasn't actually fucked a girl yet, but he knows he wants to. Like you can just come out and have not have, have you seen the office this. sitting right here? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the office? Yes, I have. Remember when he just shouts, "I declare bankruptcy!" <laughs> like it's the same principle. <laughs> like that's that is the only requirement there is. You just have to go into a public setting and scream it at the top of your lungs. That was one of the funniest things ever. <laughs> Uh, so I, I I think this is a perfect illustration for libertarians to bring it back to the libertarian philosophy. This is a perfect example of why we believe in individualism and that everything must start at the individual level. And when we start to talk about uh, collective action and on broader scales, you start to have people run to their barricades and start fighting with each other over something that affects – 150,000 people in a country of 330 million. 330 million people have an opinion and try to rule the lives of these 150,000 people when really this is just better handled at, at, at the very micro in, level. individual micro level of the military. It, it, it doesn't need to be this big debate. And I think that as we start wrapping up this topic, I want to read from Chelsea Manning. Bradley Manning was the person who leaked – uh, documents to WikiLeaks was then charged, served in prison, was granted clemency by Barack Obama while in prison, tr- transitioned to Chelsea Manning. And Chelsea Manning's opinion was this on Twitter Today is further reason we should dismantle the bloated and dangerous military intel police state to fund health care for all. We got this. All right, now I'm not with funding for health care for all, <laughs> but uh, very serious honest point is that the constitution doesn't argue for a standing military and if you give every make everyone pay for universal health care then you better damn well believe the collective has the right to determine who and who doesn't have the right to become trans let's do single payer yep. and then start having this conversation about everybody's health care in right. the uk we... they just if you're fat or, or like overweight right. or if you smoke you can't have surgery. Cat, like, Cat and I were talking about you Gardasil. You opted out. Yeah, yeah. they just yeah. we're not going to pay for it. That just happened in Cat, the UK. Cat and I were talking today about Gardasil and how uh, much of a blessing I think that is for you know Cat's a twenty year old female. The, the H- anti HPV, uh, anti cervical cancer, uh, like vaccine, vaccine came out when I was like fourteen. Vaccine that oh, yeah, yeah. that she was able to get is going to prevent so many instances where at 33 I have so many female friends dealing with polycystic or, right. uh, fibrosis. Like, they're dealing with ovarian cysts. They're dealing yeah. with precancerous cells. Out of cervix, nowhere. Out of nowhere, and it's because of HPV, where her, the Generation Z, they're not going to have to deal with that. And remember when Rick Perry tried to add that to the Texas vaccine <laughs> rolls and the fight that that was, and, oh, my God, we're going to vaccinate young women against cancer how could we do this also oh, go ahead i was gonna say real quick can we go back because another um two major comments about the whole trans issue are i'm okay with trans serving in the military as long as i don't have to use my taxpayer dollars to you know pay fund for the process for the process also well, what about the 46 million dollars of viagra 
like that we pay for for soldiers. So can we talk about that? How do you feel about that? Personally, about yeah, personally. Oh, no one's gonna judge you. There's well, no right or wrong. Answer. I've been judged when I called Harry black. I'm just, you know. I like watch out for your he self-identifies as reverse white. I'm, right, right. I'm just disgusted you assumed his race. You're, I'm yeah, sorry. You. Harry, I'm so sorry. Oh, um, you. I'm you're a pigment elitist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, what? I think personally, I think that's a tricky... Like <laughs> I think that's a tricky thing. Um, I agree it should be a case-by-case -case basis. Do you want your tax dollars to fund someone's transition? I guess this is kind of similar to the... Text it like the Planned Parenthood abortion thing, mm -hmm. right? It's pretty similar. Um, the exact what, what, same principle. What's the cost of a Tomahawk missile? Does anybody know? But that's a relative. That's a relative. Are we talking no. about the, the addictomy or are we talking no. about the actual <laughs> missile? No, no, no. I'm, I want that option. I'm if I'm having an addictomy, it's going to be a I'm Tomahawk a, goddamn my, missile. My, my, no, my point is like. I want the MOBE. <laughs> you know, what, what is it? The largest uh, military expenditure? Bigger than the next. Oh, no. Next uh, highest 14 countries. 26. Is combined. Yeah, like. 25 of whom are allies. There's so much money spent on the military and so much of that spent on weapons. Like, I, you know, a former roommate of mine who used to be in the Army, and he told me a story of how for hours they had to shoot off rounds from a machine gun. You know, several soldiers just shooting off the rounds because they couldn't transport it. And he said, you, you have no clue how much money gets wasted in the military. We yeah. leave all the weapons behind because it costs too much to ship them over. And what mm -hmm. Jeeps are uh, is ISIS driving now? The, those those Toyotas? Hoosier-made Toyotas, baby. And, right. Best and, money can buy. And <laughs> that's... Truck. Like, there's so much money wasted and spent in the military that, to me, like, quibbling over, like, the money that's spent on trans issues... Like, like from a from a strict a rationality from a from a strict libertarian perspective, like I get this how the trans ban from the military is technically a good thing because now these people are prevented from you know being conscripted by the government or them controlling their lives and all this. It helps save on money. It technically shrinks the size of government. Yes, that's all true. But at the same time, like you read the tweets and you're just like, God damn it, Trump! Like this does this now does I'm not. Pissed. But like. This is as horrible on a feels front, on a PR front. Like, it's the yeah. same thing with Pence and Rifra. Like, yep. you are technically correct. Yes, this is technically a step forward in the libertarian position, but God damn it. Like, I hate this, him, this, and this I don't want not, him to be the one that does it. You know, <laughs> like, every ounce of justification you have for this is bullshit. Right. Every ounce of justification that Trump has for, oh, the costs, but how much do you spend on missiles in Syria? Right. Like, it but is, that's is that is horseshit, and it's it's the same thing like with uh, the justification for Rifra so, was religious, but a Rastafarian whose holy sacrament is marijuana, well, they don't count. Like, well, that's the bad that, religion. That religious freedom, <laughs> just, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Matter. So why do they focus on the bullshit justifications? Why don't they say the true ones? What's you don't want to go that? to the true one. Saying that's that you principle. owe the Christian right a favor and now you're going to pass a ban that allows you them to yeah. put up a no queer sign at the lunch counter is... You want to get the black boat? Blame gay people in the military. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, well, who is more anti-homosexual marriage than the African-American community? Yeah, that's so true. The African-American community is very... Uh, that's so true. Reason. And the left has it's, just lumped them all together. And I've, mm -hmm. and I've heard well, yeah. the same from straight and gay black people like that. Yeah. It's... Yeah, that it, that's the thing is that's why it fails in California every single time. Yeah. Proposition eight. Yeah. But like, Kat, so well, how do you feel about having to be forced to pay for someone to transition? I think that's a very tricky thing because on one part, I wouldn't want to. Right. Mm -hmm. Nobody. I don't think anybody would want to pay for that. But at the same time, you think of, OK, take that situation out we're paying for if it's true the 46 million dollars worth of that's a, that's an issue of relative comparison yeah. rather than principle yeah. that's yeah. the, the that's path to the hell Viagra shit is, a is that but yeah. that's the thing is that's how it's argued and all that does is stoke the flames because then it's well yeah but you're spending 46 million on viagra well yeah and so it just clashes the sides the principle is i shouldn't have to pay for anything i don't want to pay for exactly yeah. but Look at, at the same effect. time they're lumping in See, like, I'm for support supporting the military, mm -hmm. so I will support the military with my taxpayer dollars, right? As I I'm don't sure. want to die if someone invades. Right. But it's it's that um, umbrella blanket type thing. It's now this issue is in the military. Mm -hmm. So now, now it's that's... real. Do you think you should be able to opt out of your tax dollars going towards someone's transition? I think you should be able to opt out of everything on tax dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think... 
I would if agree. You, your tax dollars, not one penny of it goes towards the drug war Damn unless right. you want it to. Watch that fail overnight. Right. Honestly. Exactly. Uh, or like no, Planned Parenthood. Were, Instead were, of having to defund the entire program, if you're really that up tight about oh abortion, my gosh. then just... It's like voluntarism could actually work. Right. Like then you just, only do something look, with somebody if it's voluntary right, everybody, or if there's, I don't, consent. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. And everybody is, you know... Back to the Planned Parenthood thing, everybody is like, well, we forget about the thousands of women that they help and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if we could just, you know, opt out of Greg, helping the things you don't want to help. But I think it's history time. But how did again, Planned Parenthood get started? History time, Greg. There was this great man yeah. oh that wanted to make Europe great again. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for Hell listening speak, to no. We Are Libertarians. No, 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 no. This, this is, the this eugenics is movement. Yeah, 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 so the Mark, eugenics yeah. movement. Yeah, the founder. Turn of the Sanger, century America. What? what? Just I thought you were having an epileptic fit. <laughs> yeah. Stop uh, assuming. He saw his mail in and yeah. Yeah. asked me, quit aggressing on me and by delivering the but, uh, mail. I was like, no, what no, do you the, have against the, eugenics, Harry? The differences in the Viagra pills and the transgender stuff is the Viagra pills create more um, um, tax slaves. <laughs> <laughs> Reproduction. <laughs> I get so it. it increase, so it but allows the, is, the Ponzi any relative scheme to keep going. Says the is, guy who just a had a child. Logic. I'm still here, no kids. <laughs> right. No, but any relative comparison like that, where you toss out a statistic and they toss out a statistic, and they say, "Yeah, but look at the absurd amount of waste we already have," leads you nowhere. You convinces do, no one. You can until do you that make it about the principle. Forever. I shouldn't have to pay for anything I don't want to, even if I support it. I'll give to the charity for the trans- transition process. I will find that do a, start a host a Kickstarter for them. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you know whatever. Yeah, as long as I do it that way and handle it that way, that is the only way to address this argument in a civil or humane fashion. Correct, because that's not what the trans community need. They don't. They don't need this fight. Yeah. What they need is people to help them out, help them out with transition to paying for that cost of right. that. They need even, cultural acceptance. Correct, C- cultural acceptance. People to be able to, to apply to them, so they don't have, so they can get a resume built out that they don't have to use their dead name anymore and use their correct name that they have changed. It's so hard for people who are trans to have to change their name to try to get a job because their resume and every other job they had in the past had this old dead name. And that's what the trans community It's like really when someone needs. literally changes their name because of witness protection. Correct. It's yeah. virtually impossible to prove their track record. It yeah. kind of reminds me in high school how you take the, um, you know, you take all the bullshit classes and then you take the one class about how to pay taxes and how to do all this. Civics. Like, right. Well, <laughs> you know, like a, a business management or like a, yeah. a typing class or an actual skills Personal class. finance or something like that. Right. This is what it kind of reminds me of is we're focusing on all these bullshit issues when in reality they really need the help. They really need to the help. To just be a normal member of society. Yeah. Well, just to be left the hell alone. And to be left the hell alone. For people to remember right. that it's cul- their business. The cultural yeah. acceptance can't be bought. You no. can't raise enough taxes to buy that. Integration Correct. in schools taught us yeah. that. Yeah. It yeah. created two separate classes in the education system. Correct. It Tr- cemented it. Trans people are still being killed in this country. Absolutely. For, for the simple fact of just being trans. Oh, really? um, there was a woman that was killed uh, last week. She was stabbed a hundred and was 118 times in the face. Okay. Where? What was it over? Yeah. Um, was it was, there an it was a very unfortunate. It was a Bible study. Uh, it was they a... were. They were Heal. <laughs> <laughs> they were. They were arguing over Leviticus versus Genesis, which was the better book. I'm sure that's what it was. That lot guy. Christoph <laughs> <Right. sighs> Setz, the only book. Anyways, um, no. The uh, do we know that it's like a hate killing, or do we know? Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. yeah so what happened? Yes. No. No. It was a hate. The severity would because of what that. happened was oh. that the it was. Does I'm when I'm saying this, it does not excuse what the guy did. Okay. No. Basically, they had some form of sex, and then the um, the um, uh, male discovered that like surprise, oh. I'm trans. The uh, the one was ah. trans, and it was, and that ch- and he shocked, got the knife, and pe- proceeded to stab her 119 times, and then went back to his room and and took a shower like it was just nothing. <laughs> Yeah, it was awful. And this thing, the thing, this thing happens. Uh, this week, we just passed the um, anniversary of uh, what was her name, uh, uh, Nariah Jones. She died here in Indianapolis on July twenty third, two thousand and three. Uh, she it was down in Fall Creek, and she didn't have sex with this person. She just merely made out with him at a gas station. They found out that she was trans. They took her and her uh, cisgender f- a female friend took her over to by Fall Creek, that same trail that everyone runs off of right now, oh, that they God. built and concreted over the spot. And they basically was sitting in, in the car, and they burnt them alive in that car. 
Then. Okay, and that was just in two thousand and three. Like I said, like this this is really built to me because like that's what really got me into like really researching and finding out because I just got out of school. That burnt right behind. Like I remember the seeing the smoke from that from my apartment. You're kidding? Mm. Yeah, wow. I remember. I remember that day. You know, it's awful. <laughs> You know, and like I said, and right now you go on Fall Creek, you have no incident. Like, well, they wiped I, it away. They correct, yeah, it it's all history. gone. You know, like if you like, I've yeah, taken that hurts people to the spot. We don't want to like, talk about this that. happened right here. No one noticed. No one noticed. There's, you, there's no, there's no marker. Nothing. No one cares. It's pretty. T- the trans community in general is arguably the most ostracized, ridiculed, and targeted. Yeah, group. Gay, gays, Kid. gays don't want. The Large, trans <laughs> gays largely don't want trans associated because they're making progress on gay rights issues. And, Maya's not and, here because Seth said no. And trans and trans people, well, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, but I had nothing to do. But with But trans that. people essentially, like, oh, you'll just set our cause back. Yeah, I, I would have to agree. That's that's the main. And Seth, you you can jump in, it, but I just it's a compromise thing. Like if they're trying to make progress with it, uh, pick your battles with the legislatures, like. The, you know, the congressman or whatever will say, like, listen, you know, we're, we're with you. Like, we can get people on board with this gay shit, but the trans it, sense, people don't get it. So you drop the non starter. You drop the T, you compromise, you make what progress you can. And any uh, progress that moves forward is with the LGB right. stuff. GLB. And but we're not forgetting about you. We just can't have you at the front of the no, line. It, yeah, it's no. just wait your turn. Like, it has to come later. The it's timing organic process. isn't right. Yeah, I was going to say it reminds me of the uh, women's suffrage and how they... they Worst this, decision right? ever. The Southern... Great Depression, I know. World War II, right. rise of Hitler. Exactly. <laughs> the, All in line. <laughs> what is it? The Southern... Uh, and now we got cat. Southern... Talking. Law and uh, Poverty uh, Center? Uh, everybody, one at a time, cat. Annoyed. Cat. The... <laughs> what are they called? Well, I the Southern Law and Poverty Southern. Center, or no, the Women's League. Southern Democrats didn't want the black women right. marching with Correct. them, yes. so Absolutely they wouldn't not. march unless they were in the back. They knew it hurt their cause. Exactly. Yep. So yeah. that's exactly the same. What it is. It's, it's the wow. same thing with slavery yeah. in the United States. They would never. We'd have never had a quote unquote more perfect union mm-hmm. if the union was not possible because the Southern states wouldn't agree to the union without slavery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. There, every process, every like. You know, the organic process of cultural acceptance and norms developing and Mm -hmm. people getting acclimated to to situations and environments they're unaccustomed to. That means it isn't pretty. It it sure you sure don't like to be that person that says, listen, you don't get we 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 really we're going to represent you. You have to trust me, but you can't come to this rally. Nobody wants to be that person. Right. Right. But at the end of the day, no progress happens without that person. Listen, it it happens like whether it's right or wrong, it happens like. In steps, it's not two steps forward, sudden, one step back. It's not suddenly overnight. Like even the um, even a lot of the abolitionists, like during the yeah. Civil War mm-hmm. era, they were not like they were not you know to MLK levels of like oh yeah they should be totally equal they should Correct. be friends yeah. they should be going to the same schools drinking from the same fountains like that was not their mindset <laughs> it was just well we don't think that they should be enslaved I think that's a little too harsh it's a little too much but you know they didn't want them to like like people think of it like they're of the same mindset of a hundred years later in the 1960s it was an overnight act. like tipping point it was not a switch. it was not that way it was we want to end slavery because it's horrible but it, mm-hmm. it was not a we want equal rights and that was true of you know people added, like the kind of attitude that you would have in the 1960s, for people in the 1860s to have that in the North was was pretty rare. Absolutely, like, yeah. it's not. A, it's oh, we're, we 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 don't want them to have rights. It's, it's a state's rights issue. Yeah, you know, and it, and, and, and it took a hundred years, you know, for people to get for to, to that it. point, mm-hmm. and then another fifty years to get to where we are today. Like it, like yes, I wish it could all just switch overnight. It doesn't like that's not. It creates backlash. Mm-hmm. Trying to enact quick change, society isn't ready for, creates the exact opposite yeah. of what you're sh- mm-hmm. shooting for. But and I feel like the the, the Trump's proof. Uh, of that. C- Caitlyn Jenner, I think, is somebody who moved society forward. Society is largely ready to discuss trans issues. Mm-hmm. There maybe society at large is not at, at an accepting phase, but there is an, at least a discussion that these are people. To five years ago when people didn't accept even their humanity. They're still quiet about it. They're still like, you know what? I still like Caitlyn Jenner. You know what I mean? They don't want to just come out and say it. There aren't that many brave people that will say, 
no, I liked Bruce. I like Caitlin, same person. Bruce Jenner could have won as a senator as a Republican in California. Yeah, for sure. Caitlyn Jenner couldn't win a House race in Calabasas. We're going to see. Only because she had an R next to her name. There, but, th- but that's what I mean is that that change, that very simple change, is an indication of the way our society, uh, where it is in this stage of development of accepting the trans issue. But now that it's, it's basic white girls that watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians mm-hmm. on Sunday nights, those are the early adopters. They're going. That's going to incubate with them as slowly as they talk with their friends and they say, you know what, I like Caitlyn. Then it goes to the husbands, then it filters down to the kids, and then it's like, why was this ever an issue? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's how it happens. Yeah. Like, like our great great grandparents would probably be pissed. Harry and I are sitting at the same table. Yeah, yeah. it's never occurred to me that Mind Harry and I are different. Uh, well, that's because you like hate Cherokees. <laughs> <laughs> I might scalp you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, charge him full price for the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we've uh, bloviated enough about it, this. Libertarians, focus on the principle, not right. throwing out conflicting yeah. statistics it's, to make to virtue signal. That is an endless circle. Because mm-hmm. right. yeah. both sides can do that until they're blue in the face. I, it never ends. I principle find, will win arguments. Relativity mm-hmm. won't. Yes. I find that kind of stepping back from these issues and not really engaging on it, it wins you more friends than if you were trying, in, if you were jumping in there trying to get into the middle of two groups that just want Rabid. to fight it out and nobody's going to win. You're not going to win any of these Facebook arguments. It Good. looks like yeah. the hostile anarchists versus the KKK clan members right. hashing this out in a Facebook thread. Yeah. Right. No one comes away looking good on that. It's, yeah. Right. Don't fight. Just try to get them to extrapolate what they are feeling and get out of what they are thinking in their head. You're, a lot of them will jump into this that thread or a fight just to win. Don't go in there to win. Get them to actually fully explain their position. Let them fully pull it out so they don't have just this knee-jerk, I hate the queers. Just yeah, but the, the, my Viagra. My Viagra. Whatever. Let them, like, fully, I knew a trans. He was a pedophile. Extrapolate everything out of that That's sentence. what they do. Oh, yeah, yeah. They went I, my know, I know. I don't want those pedos in my restroom. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's eating a... F- Footlong meatball mar- mar- marinara. <laughs> right. You know, you know what, what that I mean? Means in code. Yeah. No, but I mean Jared <laughs> no. Fogel. Oh. Yeah. The Fogler. Right. You know, there's already like pedos in the bathroom. <laughs> right. Exactly. He owns the bathroom. Yeah. Probably has cams. Okay. Ugh. All right. No, so think about it. That's but, why you got to be 21 and older to be in the subway uh, stage <laughs> at, uh, at Clips now. Uh, <laughs> Cat, what was the? I'd just be curious. What was the general like? siding on this like did you and don't, you don't have to read through it i just didn't know if you maybe observed it from oh, watching feedback yeah the majority of yeah like i said the majority of people made three comments one who the hell cares two like i don't give a word two um i i think trans people are just like any other people they should serve in the military but i don't want to pay their expenses and three this is just a distraction by trump which I, I would agree with three the most. Yeah. He kind of needed it. Healthcare failing is a big, big failure right. yeah. for the whole GOP. Yeah. But the reasoning like before like paying for the transition, like you've got someone who probably, let's just go four years of training of how to hurt someone, how to kill someone, military training like this. If they didn't go through their full transition, a lot of them would probably snap. They could need that th- the piece of therapy. I think that's more of a peace of mind. Now, they're, now they've got all this training and they're a eh, little bit calmer. If they actually go to the therapist, not just do it to get hormones. That's what like the freaking sucks is like most people in the trans community they believe their hormones are there's some magic happy estrogen pills, and they believe taking these things will like make them instantly happy. They're like, well, no, you have to solve. Now you the have other. feels, right? You have right. feels, but the other, no, it's not the feels. I think it's like you have to deal with that foundational crap that you have to deal with. Oh, that of, process, the biological process, everything. But yeah, because you, if you. You know, in your head, you knew you were this gender for this for so long, but you had to live as someone else. That's playing with gender. That will psychologically, you know, like mess with you. Like how what you was believe one, it, how an you anchor are, of yeah. how you viewed your world? Correct. Yeah, is now gone. Correct. That's where I wonder about the mental illness thing because yeah. you're in a state of flux until you've clearly defined that you are trans and accepted it with or anything. Grounded. Yeah. That's the mental illness. That's the mental illness that needs to be addressed. Because, the identity issue, right? Because because you're you, it's not that you're you would change such a massive aspect of yourself, and that's the wh- reason why there's the, the trans suicide rate is so ambiguity high. drives people insane. Right. That's I mean, yeah. more often like most people can't handle ambiguity, and it's mm-hmm. that uncertainty, and you know, that unattached or undefined feeling that ends up driving them insane and causes the suicide. Yeah. And so it's different. Like with, 
with homosexuality, who cares? Mm -hmm. Right. You like what you like, and it's only your business. If society would be that cool, it'd be great. You know, it's still even not there yet. But even like 50 years ago, it was closer to the kind of thing that Harry's describing with, you know, the trans issues. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's taken a lot of time to get to where we are today. Yeah. It does, and if you yeah. force it, you get backlash that you would, that is counterproductive. And gay suicide still happens, right? All the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it All happens. All the time. You know, because, like... It's environment, their environment, the culture and the society so like, attacks them. I, like, so many uh, of my gay friends that I've talked to, at some point, they were considering killing themselves because mm -hmm. they couldn't handle the fact you know, that they were gay and society was telling them they shouldn't be. Like, mm -hmm. it is not a rare story to hear at right. all. Well, it's just, yeah. like, I like the physical difference in you from once you came out yeah. and how comfortable and at peace you are yeah. is stunning. Like, and it's great. It's so yeah. awesome oh, to yeah. see because you're a totally different person. You're more confident. You're happier. Yeah, you know, there's no anxiety in the background four, operating. Like, yeah, four years has made a lot of difference. Oh, you're you know, a different I've person. out in that time, and, yeah, it's, it is much better. And... That's something that I was going to say as well. We were talking about how it takes time. For, you know, it was 100 years between 1860 and 1960. It takes time on these things. It's the same thing. Like, I've noticed it with when I came out and with certain people uh, in my life. Like, over time, even if they're not, like, currently to the point where they're accepting of it, over time, that time has made a difference, you know. And it it does. Like, having time for them to think about it and process it will make a difference because if you i mean from my perspective like i've had years you know years upon years of years turmoil. to think about this and to process it and to deal with it people who just found out yesterday and are having to reconcile what i thought was stereotypes a lie. that they've seen which aren't necessarily representative of real people and try and reconcile that with somebody they've known yeah know, the abstract years versus years. the personal individual that takes time, and so you know that's a big part of coming out. If you're gay, it's uh, same thing on a much larger level, like with society as general. It takes time for people to uh, come around and become accepting of it, and to stop fearing different. Usually, because yeah. yeah. it's usually fearing different that ends up causing all the all of the fearing what the you burning. Don't understand? Yeah, and it doesn't that. matter if it's good or bad. Different. It's just that you are. And once that situation becomes, you know, charged or incensed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's when irrational decisions start being made, like burning someone yep. mm -hmm. on Fall Creek Parkway. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, keep it on the motor. I'm just... <laughs> 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 At the end of the day, the takeaway is two scoops, two, two genders, genders. Oh, two terms. Uh. Deal with it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Right. That's the exact opposite. Yeah. Let's start wrapping it up. Let's uh, give our final thoughts for Two this Americas. episode. Kat, would you like to join Tried start that. us off? Yes. Great episode. I thought it was very interesting. Loved it. Because <laughs> we're the... One, two, three. Five. Five best friends. <laughs> we're the five best friends. That I can't is, count because I'm a girl. That is second to Scat Cat in terms of... Did like somebody say Scat Cat? Annoying yes. bullshit you do. A beep, deep, doo dee da ba da beep 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 ba da ba ba da ba Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -beep -ba -beep. Kill me. <laughs> yeah, we. Hey, if you want to talk to somebody, I know you're it gay and you go through that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, great episode. Very um, interesting. And I guess I would have to say is on what my stance is. It's kind of a controversial one because it's you've got. Uh, I understand both sides. I'm a very level-headed person, but I would have to go the route of I think. In a perfect America, you could just opt out of whatever you didn't want to pay for. That's the ideal. That should be the That's goal the you ideal. always push for. Line item tax forms. I so, yeah, Harry? That line. Bit up at it. First off, I wanted to uh, get the statement that uh, Kat does not have uh, racism insurance. So, uh, yeah, just you go ahead and attack her all you want. Come here. You have Give me a hug. Levy a fine. She doesn't have gay insurance either. So. Levy two here. fines. No, I'm probably. And a third for a mix. <laughs> I was going to say, everyone thinks I'm a lesbian, so that's my insurance. Um, the. <laughs> 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 oh, now man. Harry's speechless. I know, like throw me off. <laughs> oh, now I feel kind of bad. Cause she's, you know, been a lesbian all this time. I know. <laughs> now I feel bad. I'm also secretly really black. Gotta, gotta, gotta. She's still a racist, but you know, she's had a tough yeah. time being a lesbian. Yeah. When it comes down to like taxes, taxes are awful. Taxation is theft. When it comes down to it, if you're going to even have a state or a government, because I don't want either, or 
I would like it for the thing to just to have like user fees and fundraisers. We just want we want a a, a a group a governing body of LARPers that decide the LARPing. Well, yeah. How about this? Like, you know, if you like schools, you know, fu- have the schools fundraised and you pay for the school that you want. You pay for the road that you want. But what about the poor children, Harry? Why hey, do you hate poor children, Harry? I don't hate poor Why children. Do you hate I love poor black poor children, children, Harry. Huh? Yeah, Harry. <laughs> well, first off, <laughs> Why don't both. you want the poor black children to be able to read, Harry? <laughs> Why are you holding the man down? Because there can only be one, and it's Harry. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and this There's Obama way, than Harry. Because, like, uh, it's a lot. I believe the schools will be better. More people have more... Um, Options, you know, you know, more options, more invested is interest into that school. Less standardized testing that's Correct. irrelevant. Because, like, look, like, think about it now. If most people they s- have money that's sitting in their savings account that is doing nothing, like they can almost invest that to a school and possibly be able. Well, if you're to not get... being taxed, you're not you're going to have the money to make these choices. Correct. You can invest into a school and actually get people to pay it off. And, get, and, and even if, like, let's say the school's paid off, pay back the school just like the same way and almost use it as like a mortgage to the school. Except an apprenticeship where they send you and pay right. for you there, since well, you're the Well, there's all these other different options, you know, that you can get to get be, make the schools better instead of being stuck in this crappy system, Russian allowing model. in these crappy schools. And the yeah. same thing when it comes to government, uh, with, with, when it comes to like the military that I don't want to pay for it. I think it's, think it's junk. I, you know, but there's other things that we could do, be doing better with that money. Um, a lot of people, are, but what could are you going to attacking I Canada and ha. stealing Taking their maple syrup? Hey, we almost attacked Canada and half and um, you know, nah, no, no, and Harry think we should because they still celebrate the time they uh, you know beat up America. I've seen Canadian bacon. I'm for it. I Care, love careful it. Careful now. Oh, I I've, love I've got a date it. with a Canadian yeah. tomorrow. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say the, uh, scat cat? No, no, no. It's like Bloody Mary three times. It's no, this it's just like turned me you summoned me. It's, it, it's on that level it's, of like bad drops, like a Saturday, uh, like like the early morning, like a traffic report drops, or like that as uh, the other local uh, uh, radio show that our buddy uh, Rob's on. That nope. has to do. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> that he does has to do drops on, and I feel bad for him half the time because you can hear him. You should. The you him scream at him is like, come on. You shouldn't Bob. be supporting it like, with your ears. Oh man, I'm so sorry, bro. After what they said <laughs> so, about you, and I had to rescue you and you know stand up for you. <laughs> but um, <laughs> <laughs> you're you're like Teddy Roosevelt. You're a man in the arena. I was the man in the arena that day, and Harry goes and listens to their show, and I'm offended. Uh yeah, they're pretty. I'm awful. taking my premiums back. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take them back. Contract. Smart contract. Changes. Uh, You're not going to finish up with something super technological that yeah, is way over my head. I mean, you. you this is people love. The, Harry, you change, be sure to change your Bitcoin <laughs> passphrases because. All right. Some... So, um, I will say I will end with this Ugh. when it does come to your bitcoins. If you have bitcoins on an online wallet, I'd get them offline right now. This is be, coming from the you founder. Been, if you are watching into <laughs> bitcoins or something, you should have got them offline and just watch because, like, this whole like Segwit war is it's amping up. You know, like, hey, I. I have cashed up my. I've got some bitcoins offline. The other bitcoins I have, I've transferred out for. I don't have any Zcash, but, but you should have some. But I don't have any. I what swear. About pirate, what about but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> gonna, and when, Those coins matter. <laughs> sold them my Dogecoin when they went up because I don't think they'll go up any higher. So I what's sold the, them all. What's the equivalent but, uh, of Bitcoin to dollar? Right now, yeah. Uh, what's one Bitcoin cost? Isn't it like twenty seven hundred dollars? That's yeah. what I thought. Holy I googled shnikes. it. Yeah, Man, not too yeah. Long. It was <laughs> interesting a little when you figure. control yeah, half yeah. the supply that you have such yeah. vested interest in making it go up. Hey, sold some coins and Doge coins to help pay for Gunter in the in the hospital. It was awesome to like watch her. Like, well, I'm just like cashes into ke- to get ke- dollars and like here you go. Hospital. F off taxes. Here's your six thousand dollars <laughs> <in> cash. <laughs> Ain't wow. no transfer fees Here's on this. <laughs> Bitcoins. Glad I had these. You know. Hey, wow. hey! I benefited with the cash going up. I was like, "Wow, cheap pregnancy." Oh, I, I wish <laughs> I bought into Bitcoin five years ago when I first heard about it, Heck. and then cashed out at three grand. I would have. Wow. Hey, hey! Be- I would have do- mansion. I could have a pool boy now. Like, 
But this if it didn't work out, you would have just fake money. Yeah, that's not true. It's digital. Oh, sorry. It's it digital. has feels. Yeah. It's like not yeah. pirate doubloons yeah. that yeah. I have in the backyard. Pirate yeah. yeah. <laughs> If I had took this, yeah, <laughs> seven years ago, and I took the seven grand I had to, for the down payment of my house and bought yeah. Bitcoin. Oh yeah, yeah. could have bought my neighborhood. <laughs> 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 but like, um, you could be like me who bought into Bitcoin, watched it go up, didn't think it would go up any higher, and then buy a sixty-nine, uh, the sixty-nine seventy um, AMD graphics card with all those bitcoins, mm. think it wouldn't get any higher. Like, like wow, women. Yeah. Please stop throwing your panties at the. Uh... <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> yeah, that, that I don't, when Harry card. talks about graphics cards, my panties. I don't. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know how, but I just got wet. <laughs> yep. yeah. All right, Seth. Um. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't think I had. You want to thank Cat for anything? You want me to show me? Uh, oh yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. Actually, no, I was. I was just going to say, you know. I've come a long way in the last four years from, like, my ragey libertarian college days. But few things <laughs> tempt me to violate the nap now like snap, uh, Scat Cat does. So, thank you. So thank you for testing my purity every You're welcome. week I hear that bullshit. It's only been and two everyone weeks. Everyone deserves a one helicopter exemption. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. <laughs> Scat Cat is covered by the uh, bit cut, no government license. Exactly. Other than that, the only... <laughs> When I get you people, <laughs> the other, the only other thing I would, I have is I actually have something to ask of dear leader. Well, um, ooh, ooh. I'm, I'm just, I'm bracing myself. Start with a compliment. I'm as nervous. You, as you know, I'm generous and, w- and thorough. Thorough, quite <laughs> thorough. You've given me years of listening pleasure I, uh, in your ears, in my ears. I've given you goosebumps, have I not? Oh yes, the best place to get. I play. I please not only men ears. but women. <laughs> he does. This is true. <laughs> and <laughs> trans, and G and Dovakin and all the genders. Yes. Um, but what I wanted to actually point out was your noted record of your opinion of uh, baby boomers. Not a fan. No. Oh, really? What would you say about baby boomers? Holocaust. Oh yeah, g- generally you know the first just Holocaust. all of them. I will you fucking would send re- Natalie reenact to the, the Holocaust. Holocaust to end this shit. Listen, I love Natalie and Agnos, mm-hmm. but she's a boomer. Actually, mm. she's technically not, so she's safe. She's Gen not X-er? Gen X. Your no, mom's on the cusp. Your mom is not Gen X. Too close. Your mom is boomer. They're as pretty young. No, she. They're pretty young. No, my mom is Trump's boomer. He's the first year boomer. My mom, I think, is like. It's forty-seven to sixty-five. Yeah, my mom was born in sixty. Six, I think. Well, no, your mom's a full boomer. Regardless, yeah, close enough. It has been noted that Dear Leader is not a fan of the boomers, right? Yes. Reacting yes. to Hurry Holocaust up, Seth, I have a drive to make. <laughs> I would like to play. <laughs> I require I require silence from everybody. Please silence. I would like to play a clip from episode forty-five of We Are Libertarians 45. at one minute and sixteen seconds into the episode. This is some autism here. God fucking damn it. It didn't... Okay, hold on. It didn't move right NSA. away. <laughs> <laughs> they knew. Hold on. You don't think Dear Leader has that clip scrubbed from the internet? That's right. I just did this. <laughs> Paid off. Listen, of listen. You're on the very end of it. I think the generation that's after us and our generation are so, like, coddled <laughs> by our parents that the notion of rebelling against an authority is crazy because we get along with our parents. Millennials, I get along with the two guys I work with because they're baby boomers and I just get along with people. Of <gasps> generation. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I think... Who's that female voice? That's Suzanne Schaefer. Oh. So, My favorite intern. So I love Suzanne. Just kidding. Don't change the subject. Just so. <laughs> don't change the subject. I see what you're trying to do there. I don't. Now, I don't I... See... I am going to demand a public apology on behalf of the listeners, not to me, of course, <laughs> on behalf of the, the listeners you. for well, your lies and treachery about your opinions on baby boomers. Lying Chris, ladies and gentlemen. Did they telegraph you their concerns? Dear leader. Here's the problem, Seth. <laughs> paid off. Do you want me to show them out the door, dear leader? Paid off. Same gold Steve paid off. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Flip-flopping <laughs> all over the place. Lying Chris. 
Sli- as, slimy Spangle. <laughs> as you know. We've outed you secretly. No, 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 big no. time lover of baby boomers. You have not. You have not. <laughs> I have the documents. I have the audio files. As you know. <laughs> I have the documents. As you know, we've well established that uh, I am the listeners and the listeners are me. <laughs> oh. We're one. So... I, Holy Trinity, sort of. A house, a house divided against itself cannot stand. So therefore, no. On behalf of the listeners, because I am demanding nothing of myself. I think we all know this. What is there to demand? There's nothing to demand. Circle other than of life. Continuing to be perfect. Secondly, individually, I do enjoy several boomers. I like boomers. I like Natalie. I, I, she's probably my, my favorite boomer. Mm-hmm. I'm yes. a big fan of Cat's mom. Um, as a generation, I said in that piece that they coddled us, that we have a soft generation. Is that not a fault of the boomer for giving it to us so easy? You did really did work in politics for four years. Absolutely. You? <laughs> Learning is, how to flip this, this the on truth. the fly. Let me make sure that you're what you you're come into our compound now, and you disrespect. Uh, can you define let's, what no, 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 is, no. is? <laughs> <laughs> let's get to you, Seth. Mm. Oh, let's talk about. Oh, you. you have some dirt on me. Your history of racism is well documented. I don't know. About <laughs> I don't even think you're actually gay. How did no? Uh, <laughs> get Jeff in here. I can prove it. <laughs> oh, Vibbert, oh, <laughs> go in there and prove it for us. <laughs> how? How? Oh, dare I will. <laughs> let me. F- <laughs> how dare you come in here and insult me work. with my own words? Nay. <laughs> I wasn't insulted because what I said and what I have always said has always Dear leader, please, your I, blood pressure. I'm, be- <laughs> I'm beside myself, honestly. He's getting he's getting very ham colored right now. Very very Thank red. You. Help me, Cat. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> I need you. What do you think you're here? Um, right. You did. <clears throat> I now, I now, uh, uh, I healed my time to my spokesperson, Cat Agnes. You come into our wall compound with the um, how you say. Uh, fake news <laughs> of the uh, of the dear leader. You bring in fake audio clips that we know you used on audacity.com. To change. Audacity.com. Audi- yeah, to change. Uh, Therefore, the audible you're of hope. Barack Obama's biography. <laughs> bring the catapult. The audible. We sh- catapult set. Here's the problem. Over the wall, compound wall. I haven't fed muffins oh, in roughly four weeks. <laughs> look at muffins. She's over there. She is ready to eat your fucking face off. She does look like quite a mad pussy. Thank I bet a pussy's never looked at you like that. <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Seth. Yeah, yeah. No, I... I gotcha, listen. bitch. No, you didn't get me. <laughs> I did get you. I like several boomers. I'm I, escorting him out. I enj- Thank you. Please. Tens and tens of boomers. All right, kids. <laughs> Let's start. Uh, Greg, your final thoughts? Seth, thanks for coming on um, and, and opening coming up. It was, a, it was a good last run. I'll, no, I'll never yeah. be on again. No, you definitely are. You got to bring Snowflake. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. true. I got to take the you know. We got to feed the lion to the Christian over I here. I got to take the flamethrower <laughs> to the <laughs> blizzard. <laughs> um, Harry, thank you for coming. Always a pleasure to see you, good sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Spangle, really enjoyed it. Uh, why, why were you being so sassy? <laughs> well, no, nothing. What was the sarcasm? I don't need to gloat. The listeners have already decided on the um, reception of, sna- of what was it called? Skat Cat. Now listen, you're being you're being mean to Cat. I want you to publicly apologize to her. <gasps> and we're talking after the show, Mister. I'm very sorry, Catherine. <laughs> Thank you, Gregory. For someone with the canker sore problem that you have, I should be way more <laughs> considerate of your feels. I don't have a canker sore. Well, it's meth mouth. I was uh, being. I don't nice. have a canker sore. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, thanks for listening to We Are Living. This is a hairy we'll mall. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, speaking of the hair, you have a long ass hair on your ear that Harry and I have been plotting to pluck. No, it's crazy. We're going right to get it. No. We'll, the, other we'll day, get it. the other day, Cat goes, Can I pull that nose hair? I go, Sure. And she just pulls over and plucks out my nose hair with her finger. Yeah, I did. And then I ate it. I feel like an old married couple. You need the right yeah, lighting oh, for your hair. That's the problem. Yep. Mm-hmm. One more week. One more week together. <sighs> One high five. How do we do it? All right, kids. Greg, anything else? <laughs> nope. Um, good episode. Enjoyed it. And uh, oh, Chloe and Agnes is on my shit list. I didn't get to be uh, on that, the show last time. That's right. So you know what? She go to camp. Let's just save it. 
I enjoyed the episode. Is it a coincidence she didn't invite me and then I sent her to the Dominican Republic? Called the president, God Emperor. Said, I do not believe she's in the Dominican Republic. I think she's at a Fisher Starbucks and then <laughs> posting Flickr photos. <laughs> <laughs> she's that basic. Yeah. So she's sitting there. She literally waits there every day until it's pumpkin spice season. Fake vacation, fake Instagram, she, fake Her, news. like, legs are, legs are hot dogs posts. Those aren't actually legs. She gets two hot dogs. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Oscar Mayer life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that like the... It was it was great having Chloe on last week. Kyle, not as much. Oh, so oh, oh. <laughs> Pedro was there. Pedro was <laughs> lurking in the background. He's like a North Korean censor, <laughs> making sure that Chloe doesn't say anything that will ruin the brand. Right. Well, let's wrap this up because I know Catherine has a long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gregor. I'm in very considerate of others. Thank you. All right. Thanks for joining yeah. us here on this episode of We Are Libertarians. Even Muffins is yawning. God damn, she's cute. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody for coming uh, coming into our home and listening to this episode of We Are Libertarians. Please be sure to go to the Johnny Rocket Launchpad's website. Get that book, The Liberty Force. Get that comic book. Please support our friend Johnny. He's been such a good friend of me uh, and uh, such a good friend to the libertarian movement. So please check that out. Um, I... I, I really, uh, I just appreciate you all. I want to say I really don't have any, I usually normally have like a whole list of plugs or people to thank or whatever, but it's kind of light this week. So big thank you. Thank big, yourself. Thank I thank me. Honestly, <laughs> I thank me for bringing this all to you. Uh, big developments coming in the We Are Libertarians world. Be ready. Be prepared. Get the calendars out. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yes. Oh. Listen, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I have a big surprise on 9-11 for everyone. <laughs> I want, listen, I want everyone to go onto their Facebook page, go onto Twitter, go onto social media, and I want you to just post, big surprise coming on 9-11, stay tuned to We Are Libertarians. All right? You're mm -hmm. going to be blown out of your mind. Then add Inshallah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe, not. Maybe not that. No. Big surprise coming on 9 11. We're going to celebrate me. It's going to be fantastic. Durka, Durka, <laughs> so uh, we will see you next week. Thank you for joining us. Please check out the YouTube. Please uh, continue to send in your letters and your compliments. We love them. And everyone else can go fuck themselves. Thank you for listening to this episode of We're Libertarians. And as promised, we always promise. It. Redo. And as always, we promise. To do better next time. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, we promise. To do better next time. Wait, nope, you be quiet. You're going to get a spank. Speak when spoken to, you're gonna get a woman. Sp you're gonna get a <laughs> the kitchen is that way. Are do you lost? Do you want to get a spanking? This is a map. Gross. You're at a microphone. That's the kitchen. You need to go. <laughs> you are here. But March I can't west. Read. <laughs> and as always, we promise. To do better next time. Yeah. See, it's always better with a man. Ha, ha, ha.